all right welcome everybody to this new video now in this video let's start creating our next project which is the instagram clone we're gonna try to clone the instagram as we have now this is the final result that we're gonna create using timing css of course i have a blank project here using uh if we go to the code here I just created a new project using Vit, and they have a pro, uh, folder here, images, that's content images that we're gonna use in this project. And also we need to add the font awesome. Let's grab this font awesome, the version 6, as you can see here. Let's copy the link of the tag and let's add the tag to our project here okay we are ready to go now let's go to the projects that we're gonna try to create which is the instagram clone let's start creating our nav bar as you can see here so what we have in this nav bar we have three elements now we have the logo the search and two buttons here so let's do that let's go to our code and let's say we're gonna create the nav bar okay and let's say nav and inside this nav we're gonna have a div that will contain those three parts now the first part will be a logo the second it will be the search the search input let's say search and the third part will be buttons let's say buttons oops buttons okay now let's start by adding the logo now we have an image here i'm gonna have this project of course you're gonna see that we have an instagram logo here so we're gonna use this in our project so the first uh, the first div or we don't need a div let's say an image and this image it will be dot slash emg it's the name of the folder here and slash the name of the photo that we're gonna use or the picture that we're gonna use and start grab i think Okay, made a mistake here. Let's rename this and add M. Okay, let's see Instagram dot G PNG. Okay, dot PNG. Now let's save this. Go to our project. We're gonna see that we have our logo here. Now, first, we need a uh, border bottom here. So let's add this. We're gonna do this in this nav links or elements. Let's say class. Let's say border bottom. And let's say background will be white background. And let's add a py for example. Let's say to save. Go here. And as you can see, we have our border bottom here now let's add the search let's go here with the search we need to add a div here for the search and we're gonna need an input here input okay type it will be search and we need a, an icon here so we're gonna use the font awesome let's go and create an e tag and let's add a class it will be now those are some classes for the font also it's not telling css just for the icon it will be for a if a dash search i think search now let's save this go here and where is the search okay now we have a search here now let's add two buttons let's go to the part of the buttons and let's say it's a div 
and inside this div we're gonna have an a tag let's duplicate this now the first it will be it will be a login it's not sign in it's log log in and the second it will be sign sign up okay let's add a hash here okay now let's save this go to our projects and we're gonna see that we have two buttons here so we have the logo the search and the buttons we need this to be in one line here and how we can do that we're gonna use the flex so let's go to this parent div that will contain the whole area or the whole nav and let's say class it will be flex okay save okay now it's flex and we need this to be now the uh, those buttons here we need to be here and the search will be here and the logo it will be here and how we can do that we're gonna use justify around let's do that let's say justify justify dash around save as you can see we have the justify between all those elements okay that's fine let's give some classes to our buttons so where is the buttons in here let's say class first we need this to be inline inline block and then we need the background for this to be blue 500 i think 500 and we need the text to be white and the font to be semi bold semi bold okay let's save this okay i think it's it's nice let's give this some i think we need a px px of one and py or let's say px of two and py of one save okay let's add around it around it save okay i think it's look like this okay and we need the text to be small of course let's say text dash s m small okay let's do the same for our our sign up button let's say class it will be an inline block and this it will be text in blue let's say blue 500 we don't need the background for this button we just need the font to be semi bold and text to be small that's it for this button let's go i think it's fine okay now let's give some classes to this search here now we don't need this one we focus on this input i'm gonna see that we have an outline or yes it's an outline so let's do that let's go to the search okay let's add a class here let's say class first let's hide this let's say class outline let's say outline none outline dash none okay and what's also we need we need some border let's add a border let's say border Um, border let's see when we hover over this say hover we need the border to be say border gray gray 400 or 500 say 400 okay 
think it's, it's fine what's also we need we need our this icon to be here but first let's add some we need this to be rounded of course rounded and we need the text to be center center save okay it's add a px let's say px it's add a px px4 and i think this it's not it will be the focus it's not the hover let's say when we focus we need the border okay we need i think we need this icon to be here so how we can do that let's give this class here let's say this div here let's say class it will be let's say first we need the text to be text to be gray gray 500 for example and it will be relative relative because we need this icon here to be absolute absolute and we need to do left let's say left zero let's say left zero save okay let's add some let's say for example we need some margin here Okay, now let's say here we need some margin left of two. Okay, and let's add some margin top of three. Save. Oh, three it's not. Say for example two. Save. Okay, let's say one. Save. I think when it's, it's it's fine. Okay. Okay. I think it's fine. Right now it's it's working. We need some space here. I think let's add some space. What is in this? We are gonna do class space x. Of course. Let's make it to save. Okay. I think it's fine for this nav but we don't need the text it has to be centered I think let's remove this what is center text center let's remove the text center save okay so we need some margin here let's add some margin left for this input let's say margin margin left of 8 for example save okay now when we when we did the margin left this icon here change so let's do 2 for example okay think now it's fine so let's add I think where is this icon? So let's add some padding. Let's say padding left one. Mm, padding left one. And let's say margin here two. As you can see, we just try to find the best. Best. UI okay now what we did here we did the margin left two let's see this uh, I think we need margin here to be four for example let's see okay the margin left four 
about the inner lift it's not here we don't need the margin left to be for here let's remove this save okay Control Z and let's make it two, for example. Okay, now it's it's. I think it's look. It's look nice. It's nice. I think we need this to be padding. Where is the padding top? Margin top. Let's make it just one. okay now it's it's nice i think it's nice but we need when we go to the mobile we need to hide this so let's add here where is the search we need this to be hidden hidden on the mobile oh thank you okay now the view and the mobile it will be like this and let's add it will be hidden but start from the medium screen it will be block save this okay now it's very nice as you can see we just create this uh, navbar just create the navbar of instagram i think we, we left here we need some background we don't we don't and the background here where is the input let's say the background it will be gray for example 100 we forgot to add okay now it's it's nice okay i think that's it for this navbar see you in the next video all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video let's try to create this part here of our project now here in the last video we create this created this navbar so in this video let's try to create this part here so what we have in this part we have this image this title and let's say this description okay now if you inspect this first here you're gonna see that this element or this div it's take almost here yeah, if you you're gonna see that's almost it's seventy percent from the whole page so let's let's do that let's try to do that let's go to our sublime now here we're gonna see that we're gonna create this main section and this main section let's create a main tag this main tag basically will contain a background let's say a background gray 100 let's say for example to see this let's define a height of screen save this oops and let's go so our, as you can see here we have a background gray 100 but this background it doesn't look like like this so let's add an opacity to our background here let's say bg dash opacity opacity let's say for example 25 percent let's save go to our project okay now it's look like this okay now let's create this div that will contain this whole area so let's see here and let's create a div let's say div and let's give this div a background to see our div in our paint let's say background gray 900 for example and let's see the height it will be 44 for example okay now as you can see this is our div but if you take a look at this uh, to our final 
result here you're gonna see that we don't need to take the whole space here we just need to take 70 percent of our page so let's go to our uh, documentation here and see how we can define 70 percent of the width here so where is 70 percent okay now we don't have 70 percent we have 75 percent so let's use this it's almost 70 percent let's take this width here it's 8 slash 12 and let's give our div here 8 slash 12 let's save let's see here okay it's almost like this but we need this to be centered if you remember which class that we need to use to center this div we're gonna add mx auto let's say mx auto so that we have some margin left and right okay now it's look fine what we need now to do we need to create the the header inside this div let's say a header here a header here and inside this header we will have two divs let's say the first div it will be for our image so let's say mg and let's add an image here we have an image inside this folder mg it's this girl here so let's do that let's go to our index and let's say inside of our mg folder slash profile dot jpeg the extension of our image it's jpeg it's dot here now let's save this as you can see this image it's too long so let's give some classes to our image let's say class say for example that we need the height to be 40 and also the width it will be 40 save okay i think it's, it's fine now to see this in action let's give a div to uh, the div that will contain this image now this div here let's say class a background let's say for example we need the green here let's say a green for example 500 and let's define a height for this div let's say for example let's say that we need the same height that we have here now save this go now as you can see this div that will contain this image it's take the whole space here so we don't need to do that we need to define the height uh, sorry the, the width for this image or this div so let's take here where is the, this div okay now this div it will take just let's say 25 percent from this div how we can do 25 percent it's 3 slash 12 it's 25 percent okay as you can see this div it's almost take 25 percent from this div it's not from the page okay <coughs> and if you go here you're gonna see that 3 slash 12 it's 25 percent the weight it's 25 percent okay fine let's add some classes to our image let's say we, we need this to be rounded full of course save okay it's fine let's add some margin left to our div here let's say where is the div here let's say margin left let's say for example we need 16 save okay it's fine uh, let's add a border if you see this image here it's have a border here let's add a border let's say here border say for example size of 2 and let's say the color of our border it will be pink for example 600 save okay now oh, it's fine 
we need if you see here you need some padding so let's add a padding to our image let's say p1 p1 okay now it's fine i think our div is fine right now now let's remove this background green we don't need the background green just to see our div how it's looking our page let's remove our background save okay now it's fine now let's create another div here this div it will contain this area here. so let's do that inside of the header of course we need to create another div and this div it will have two divs now the first div it will it's for the uh, the title let's add it each two or the name of the profile lara lorenzo and the other div on the second div first let's add an a tag of course we need an a tag for the follow button let's say for follow now let's save this okay now we have this <coughs> outside of this div we need this to be here and how we can do that of course we're gonna add the flex to our header so this div and this div it will be in the same line so let's say class flex save okay now it's look mm -hmm, very nice and let's give some classes to our text here or our title let's say class say for example that we need text to be 3xl the size of our text 3xl and let's say the font it will be light and what's also we need let's say this that it will be a line block now let's save this okay as you can see here let's change the text let's say text white so that we can see this text white save okay let's uh, give some classes to our follow button let's say class and this follow button let's add a background of blue 500 okay let's say a px of 2 uh, py of 1 for example okay and of course the text will be white okay and the font will be semi bold and let's say me here of course what also we need let's say rounded rounded and it will be a block let's say block let's save this and let's see how it looks okay i think it's look it's look nice of course we need this to be centered in here we need some space in here and we can do that if you remember we're gonna use item center let's go to where is the header here we're gonna say items center save okay now it's fine and let's remove the background what is the background in here let's remove this background we don't need a background just to see this how it's look that's why we use the background okay and what's also we need to to do here i think we don't need this height it's just to see this let's save okay and i think we need to change the text okay i need i think we need to change this text here we don't need the text to be white so let's go to this let's change also this we don't need the text to be white okay now i think it's it's fine let's add a text center to our button 
what is our button here okay let's say text center text dash center save okay it's it's fine i think i think you now it's fine we need this button uh, this title and this button to be in one line how we can do that if you and now we're gonna add a class to this div here. let's say flex let's save this okay now we have this in one uh, in one line and what's also we need i think let's say let's say that we need some space between our title here and this button so let's add it will be space x for example of two okay it's fine i think that's it for this video and the next video we're gonna try to uh, to finish our uh, work here okay now let's try to finish our header so let's go to our code here now if we give a background of this div that's contain the title and the follow button let's say a background blue 500 for example save we're gonna see let's add some say for example the height will be 14 to see this okay now this div here we, we need this div to take the whole space so let's go here let's say where is the let's add a background to see this let's say gray of course 900 and you're gonna see like this now we need this div to take the whole space that is available here so let's add a class where is this div okay now this div let's say it will take the width of 7 slash 12 slash 12 let's save oops let's save this okay it's just like like this it's fine and we gonna what's also we need to do here we need this to be let's say item center for this div here so let's go and let's say here it will be items items center let's say items center of course it's not working because we have a height let's remove this height save okay now it's fine let's add a padding for this whole div here so let's go to our header where is the header and let's add a py of 8 save okay now it's fine so that we have some space as you can see here we have some space between our uh, div and our navbar now i think it's fine let's remove the background so we don't need the backgrounds here where is the blue let's remove this background save okay it's fine let's add this uh, list that's contains some numbers so let's do that in order list let's add here inside of this div we're gonna add an in order list and this in order list it will contain some list items let's say for example each list item it will take a span and let's say for example we have 20 hundred posts posts okay and let's copy this for example uh, three times or four times 
let's say the number of followers will be an example 100 for followers okay and let's say for example that we following 1k or 1000 following following okay now let's save this in order list to see how it's looking here okay as you can see it's like this but we need this to be flex of course let's add to this ul class and flex save okay it's look nice let's add some space between those links let's say here we're gonna use space x for example 8 let's say 8 okay it's fine okay now let's remove this uh, background here so let's go to uh, where is the background okay now let's remove this background and also let's remove the height we don't need the height save okay what also we need here i think we we need some margin top to this let's add some margin top okay here is this margin top what is this ul empty let's say for example four let's say two save let's go in here okay i think it's it's fine and what's also we need let's go here and see we need this uh, section here so let's go and add a section it will it will be a div where is this div okay here okay now let's see for example let's add some comments so you see this now this div it's for the profile let's say profile 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 name and follow button follow button okay and this it's let's say for example it's the profile profile numbers and this it will be for the profile description profile profile description now this profile description it will have a div say a div and this div it will let's say an h1 for the name for example let's say coding for the hackers is an h1 and we're gonna have a span let's add a span let's say for example which we have here let's go to here a span it will contain this travel nature and music let's add this to our span okay and what's also we need we need a p tag let's add a p tag and this p tag it will contain this lorem i copy this and paste it inside of our p tag let's add some classes to this each one for example now each one oops let's say class it will be just we're gonna change the font for example let's say font semi bold now let's go and see this how it's look in our okay i think it's it's fine okay i think it's, it's look it's look like this i think what do you think okay now that's it for this video see you in the next video and we're gonna finish our work all right in this video let's finish our header now as you can see this list have 
has some uh, style the define style if you see here we don't we don't have any style so let's go here you're gonna see that we have some list type list style type in tailwind documentation and we have a class here list none that's mean we don't need any style like what which we have here okay now let's go to our code and in this list let's say list i forgot the name of this class which is it is the name it's list none okay list none okay save go here okay we remove the the style also we need to remove this underline so this is in the text decoration decoration style it's not it's text decoration and underline no underline so let's add the class no underline to remove no underline underline okay save okay now i think it's it's fine it's look like this but we need some margin here margin top and margin bottom so in here we need some let's say margin bottom or let's give the margin bottom to this okay let's say margin bottom here for example two save oops okay and we need some margin bottom here let's go to here let's say margin bottom we need also to save does it look like this i think we need let's say for example margin bottom four save okay let's add here for example let's say three save okay i think it's it's fine right now now let's try to go to the mobile version okay as you can see if we go to the mobile version it's it's look very very nice <laughs> so let's see here now what we have here okay now we need a look like this so let's do some classes here first we don't need if we go here let's minimize this like this okay here we don't need this text in the mobile version so here we're gonna add let's say here class hidden in the mobile okay but start from the medium screen we don't we need to show this so let's say from start from the medium screen we need this to be black now let's save this okay now this let's go let's go to this uh, this image where is our image here now this image it's with the width and the height 14 let's we need this just in the medium screen so let's see the prefix mb colon that's mean we need this just in the medium screen md but in the mobile let's say for example the height will be 20 and the width it will be also 20 let's save this okay now it's fine and what also we need we need this here to take this switch on the mobile uh, this is on the desktop and medium screen let's give this empty colon but in the mobile screen we need to take the whole space so the whole space it will be the width is 8 slash 12 let's save this okay and 
what's also we need we don't need this to be flex so where is this class now this flex we need this to be flex just in the mobile so let's add that save okay why we have this i don't i think it's it's not in the same line here okay now because we have this let's see of course space it will be space x we need space x in the uh, start from the medium screen we don't need this in the mobile save okay now it's fine what's also we don't need here so let's go here we don't need also the those numbers don't need this so let's go to where is the numbers let's say okay in here we need this to be hidden on the mobile but we need to show this start from the medium so from the medium it will be block save okay and what's also we need also we need we need this okay this image this image we need this just to take the space in the medium screen let's say medium and of course we don't need margin left in the mobile save okay now it's look it's look nice what's also we don't need this width here we don't need this width in the mobile screen because in the mobile we need to take the whole space here so let's remove this let's see we need this just in the medium screen let's say medium also we don't need a margin from the left and right let's say medium and let's save okay now this take the whole space okay uh, i think that's what we need for this to be like this okay now let's add this part in here in our project here so what we're gonna do we're gonna copy this uh -huh, copy and paste it here so instead of it not be a header it will be a hidden in the medium screen so let's say medium it will be a hidden but instead of the medium okay and let's say font some body here and also we need the text to be small let's say text small i'll save this okay now let's look why we have this let's go to the header okay now here we need to add the flex or wrap so let's see flex flex or wrap save okay now it's fine now flex or wrap basically when we don't have a space here okay it will be wrapper to the next here that's why we use the flex wrap i think it's it's look nice here so let's go to the mo uh, desktop i think we have a problem here with the an order list let's go to the an order list we did a problem i think flex hidden medium block okay now we don't need a medium block it will be hidden but in the medium screen it will be just flex save okay now i think it's look very nice we did the mobile and the desktop version of this header hey right, that's it for this video see you in the next video okay now let's continue working on our project now let's create this part here that show the numbers of post followers and following but before do that if you say don't i don't know if you see this but we need some margin here some padding here so let's do that if you see here we have some some padding 
as you can see so let's go to where is the header a header here i think that we need to say for example let's see here for example a padding of four think okay no padding four is fine and we need some padding here so let's go to our this let's say it's not a padding it's at a margin say margin y in the y axis let's say for for example okay now it's fine now let's work on this section here it will show just in the mobile and it will be hidden in desktop and the medium screen so let's from the header let's say here let's say the header end and let's create a div and inside of this div we'll have an, an order list let's say an order list and inside this an order list of course we're gonna have uh, uh, some list list and inside the list we will have a span let's say for example what's the number that we have here okay let's say 200 okay see here 200 and this 200 is the posts let's say let's say posts okay let's add an another list okay say duplicate this three times and let's say 100k followers 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 okay and 400 following we follow we follow 400 let's say 100 following okay now of course let's give some classes to this main or this another list it will be flex of course so we need this in one single line uh, let's go here save oops save in here okay as you can see we have here like this okay and let's give this of course we need this to be in the medium start from the medium screen we need this to be height let's say medium screen it will be hidden okay and we need also justify around so that we have some space here as you can see justify around and we need here a border top top border here so let's add this let's say border let's say border top and let's say for example we need the text to be gray let's say text gray 600 or 500 save okay and what's also we need we need the text to be small let's say text small save okay and what's also we need let's give this numbers some classes let's say this part let's say class we need the font to be semi bold we need the text to be gray for example let's say 900 and we need this to be block let's say block save okay and let's copy this class to other span here so let's double select paste save okay okay i think what we also we need here let's add the text center here let's say text text center so that we have our text center oops save here okay now i think this is fine 
let's see this okay i think it's fine and of course in the medium screen and the desktop you don't need this to be visible okay that's it for this video see you in the next video all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video let's work on this part of creation of these icons now let's do that let's go to our in here in our code uh, let's see this is let's add some command let's see in here it's the profile numbers okay and the second another list will be for instagram insta instagram icons instagram icons or call it whatever you want just some comments to see what we do now let's say an order list we're gonna create an order list of course inside this another list we're gonna have a list and inside of this list we're gonna have an anchor tag why an anchor tag here because when we hover over this the posts and the text and the icons all it's like one link like this so that's why we're gonna make everything inside of an anchor tag okay and inside this anchor tag we're gonna have a span for the text and an i tag for the font awesome icon let's say for example the first it will be post and this i it will let's give some class some classes to this i tag of course it will be uh, some classes from the font awesome to create or to generate for us an icon let's say that we have an icon called f a s f a dash t h t h dash large okay t h dash large okay save this and let's go to our here you're gonna see that we have this post let's duplicate this three times so let's do l i three times three times and this it will be instagram v and this third it will be target okay of course let's change the icons this it will be uh if a square let's say square oops square okay and the third it will be user i think let's see here yeah. let's say user let's see this okay now we have three three icons okay now we need this of course to be here so let's add some classes to this ul of course this ul it will be let's say class flex of course save this okay flex and let's say justify around to have this some space between our icon justify around okay fine but i think we don't need justify around on the, the desktop view or desktop version let's say in here we don't need this we need and uh, and uh, let's say on the medium screen we need this to be justify it's not around but it's center let's say center save okay center like this and we need some space between them so let's say space x let's say for example 12 save this okay 12 i think it's it's fine and let's change the color of this let's say here we need the text of course to be uppercase let's say upper case and let's say text text it will be gray 600 for example say 
600 save okay it's fine and of course we need here if you see we need a border top so let's add a border top to our another list let's say border top okay save okay now it's fine and what also we need if you see this post here it have it has a uh, a border itself that means it's active this tab it's active so let's add this to our uh, post here where is the post okay let's add some class to this post we need this just in the medium so let's say start from the medium we need a border top and let's see the border let's change the color let's say medium we need the border to be gray uh, let's say for example 700 S save this okay and you see a border for this post list what's also we need we need some if you see here you can see that we have some padding for those icons here so let's see we're gonna give this a tag let's see here a class and let's see inline block now inline block by default has some uh, some padding so let's do that for all those classes here all those icons let's see here copy this and paste it here and here okay some space paste save okay i think now it's it's fine and what's also we need to do we don't need to see this now if we if we go to the mobile to the mobile view we don't need to see the text so let's see the text here let's add some classes to the span let's say class it will be hidden in the mobile let's say hidden and in uh, in the inline or it's um, in the start from the medium screen it will be inline so let's say start from the medium it will be inline save this now as you can see we don't have any text here okay now i think it's that's what we need to do for this i think we need some padding let's add some padding here okay let's do multi select and padding let's say three for example save okay i think it's look it's look very nice in here okay I think that's it for this uh, part. We just create this part here that's contain those icons. See you in the next video. All right, everybody, welcome to this new video. Now in this video, let's try to create our posts here or our images, as you can see here. Now, as you can see, each line it's contain three images. So let's do that first. Let's see here. Let's add a command, let's say post. And what we're gonna have inside this post? We're gonna have a, a div, let's say a div. And inside this div, this div it will wrap the whole post that we have in our profile. And this div is for the single post. So let's say for example we need to give this let's say class and let's say for example a background of blue 500 and let's say a height of 2 a height of for example 20 save this let's see where is our okay now as you can see this is our div but we don't need to take the whole space here we just we don't we like uh, we need to have 
uh, some images like this so each image it will take 30 uh, 33% of our div so it will be 1 slash 3 so let's do that copy this and go to our div and let's paste this now let's save now let's see how it's look okay let's add some height let's say for example g2 save let's add more let's say for example here let's add an arbitrary value so let's say for example it will be 100 percent okay as you can see oops okay now instead of this we're gonna make our image instead of this background blue so let's do that so let's remove this don't need this right now and let's wrap the whole image or the whole post in, uh, in an anchor tag and inside this anchor tag we're gonna have an article say article okay and this article will contain of course an our post image let's grab a post image here let's say for example dot slash img the name of the folder and image it will be post one for example post one dot jpeg okay that's it for our image and also we're gonna have inside of this article we're gonna have an a tag so this a tag it will contain the font awesome icon let's say that we have a font awesome called let's say the square okay and let's do uh let's save and let's see how it looks okay as you can see our icon is here i think we we have a problem here okay i forgot to add it's fast if a let's see okay now we have our icon here as you can see we have our image so what we also need to do let's give some classes to uh, to this article for example now this article it will have some classes let's say it will be relative and we're gonna say relative first it's class and relative okay and we need a padding bottom first let's remove okay now let's remove this we don't need this remove this now let's save to see how our image looks okay now we need here some padding bottom let's say padding bottom and we're gonna add an arbitrary value let's say that we need 100 percent save as you can see it's look like this and we need of course this icon to be here and how we can do that if you remember we're gonna use some position so let's add some position to this that's why we make a relative here so this will this icon here it will be absolute let's add this absolute okay and we need our icon to be here so the right it will be zero and the top here it will be zero so let's do that let's say right it will be zero and and the top it will be zero save let's see okay now you see our icon it's here so let's add let's say for example for this icon let's say for example the text we need our, our icon will be white and we need some margin from all space let's say margin one let's see this how it looks okay i think it's it's fine now let's duplicate our uh, our icon or our articles let's duplicate our post the whole post it's not just articles where is 
post. Okay. Oops. Oh, let's copy this. And let's say this is the post number two, post number three, post number four, for example. Save. Okay. Now, as you can see, we see this is in one single uh, column. So we need this to be flex. So let's add the flex to our div. Where is our div that's contain the whole? Now, where is the div that contain uh, the whole? Uh, the div that's contain the whole or that wraps the whole posts. It's this div, okay? Yeah, it's in this div. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some classes. Let's say it will be of course flex. Save. Let's see how it's look this. Okay. And we need how we can wrap this. We need to add the flex or wrap. So when we don't have space, we need this to be wrap. Let's say flex or wrap. Okay, now it's it's fine. And of course we need some padding. Let's say some padding between the posts. So let's go and add this. Let's say for example, it's not here. Let's say here for example, padding of one. Let's try one. Okay. Let's do one to the whole. Let's copy this. And each post will have some padding. Okay. Paste it here and paste it here. Save. Okay, now it's look it's look nice. Let's change the photos. So pictures. So this is for example it will be number two. And let's say for example number three. Is that we have a number three here? Yes, we have a number three. Let's save this. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Uh, what is the number two? Let's say this for example it will be number two. Okay, this cut here it's the number two. I think it's it's fine right now. What do you think? It's fine. So let's I think this here it doesn't look like this. Why? Because the text I think we need to change the text. Let's go. So where is this icon here? And I think we need the text to be small. Let's do multi select text small save. Okay, and we need also this for icon. So let's add. Where is the icon here? Now this icon, we need to add some class. Let's say class. It's not class, it's text. Sorry, text small. Save. Okay, padding. I think it's look like this now. What do you think? Oh, let's make it extra small instead of small. So let's do a text here instead of small. It will be extra small. Save. Let's see how it's, it's look. Okay. Now I think it's it's fine. All right. Welcome everybody. Now in this video, let's finishing our projects. I think we do have some small problem in our projects here. Let's start by this. As you can see here, we have some padding here that we don't have here. So those two icons and this it's not in aligned correctly. So let's figure out what is the problem. So it's in the unstop icons. And here, this P3, the padding, 
it, it's not here, it will be here. Now let's save this. Go to our project and now it's fine. And also this button, it doesn't look like this button here. So let's fix that. Let's go to the follow button. Where is it? Okay, and see the follow button. Let's say here it will be okay. Now here it will be in the medium, in the medium screen. It will be in line, in line block. Okay, save. Okay, I think we still have a problem here. PXPY, let's remove this PY. Okay, save. Okay, mm, it's not the problem. I think we have a problem here. Is it diff? Okay, now we need to add, I forgot to add here item center so that we have our text centered inside of our. Yeah. Okay, now it's it's fine. And let's go to the mobile. Okay. I think our project is correctly and it's finished correctly and see you in the next project. Alright everybody welcome to this new project. Now we're gonna try to create this github page as you can see here. So I have created uh, an empty project as you can see here. If you go here to in sublime text you're gonna see that we have an empty project of course the title will be github clone and i just include a link to the font awesome because we're gonna use font awesome in this project and i created a folder called mg contain the image that we're gonna use in our github clone Okay, now that's it. We are ready to go. Now, before we go, we're gonna add some custom color to our project. So, if you go here to GitHub, you're gonna see that we have two colors here: this navbar colors and the body color. So, we're gonna steal this from GitHub. So, let's do that. I have an extension here called Colorzilla, as you can see here. So we're gonna use this colorzilla to pick this color, the navbar color. So let's click here. It's copied as you can see here. So let's go to our project and tilewing.config.js extend here. So we're gonna add our color, our custom color. So let's see colors, colon and the bracket. Let's call this for example let's say GitHub nav colon and we're gonna paste the color that we just steal from github let's say comma and let's steal our body color so let's do pick a color let's see this okay and let's go to our tilewind.config.js let's call this for example github let's say github github body for example whatever you want just the name and let's paste our color so let's hit save now let's test our color in our project index.html let's create for example two divs let's say div duplicate this now first div it will be for example nav color and the second div it will be body body color for example just to test if our colors working. Let's say class. Let's say we need my high to be 10. And let's say background. Let's say GitHub. Nav. And of course here it will be GitHub. Body. Now let's save this and see if our colors is working. Now as you can see. Let's make the text white so that we can see. Let's say text white. Save. So 
as we can see as you can see the nav color and the body color okay now that's it for our colors let's remove this just to verify that our colors is working fine all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video let's try to create our github navbar as you can see here oh we have this empty project so let's go to do that so what do we have here in our uh, navbar as you can see we can divide this into part this navbar we can divide our navbar into parts let's change the color here and let's see now we have this part here it will be in a div and this part here it will be in another div so we have two divs the first div is for this left part and another div is for this right part or right icons so let's do that so here we're gonna add the div that will be the container for our let's say div and this div it will be the container for our navbar so let's add a comment here let's say nav navbar okay and this it will be a left let's say left left part or left links and we're gonna have another part here for the right right links okay fine let's create a div here say a div for the left links and another div here for the right links okay so what do we have in this left links here let's go here and you can see that we have a logo a search and some links here let's start by adding a logo here so let's go here let's say this first div it will be for our logo and another div here it will be for this search and another div it will be for links okay let's start by adding the logo let's say img here and the search let's go and see the search the search will be image slash where is the logo okay this is the logo dot png so it will be dot slash the folder is img and the image it will be the logo dot png okay let's save this and see how it looks okay it's beautiful as you can see the github logo here so let's add here let's add some classes to this image let's say class of course we need the weight and the height for our beautiful image so let's say weight it will be eight and the height will be for example eight save okay let's say and before that let's add our beautiful color that we just add in our tailwind.config.js which is this github nav so we need this right now so let's add that let's say class and the background dash our color and let's save this as you can see our navbar is here so let's close the sidebar and what's also we need let's make this rounded let's say rounded dash full of course save okay now our as you can see our beautiful uh, logo is here let's add some margin bottom to our navbar so let's see here it's not margin it's padding say padding bottom four for example say four it's a little bit bigger let's say two okay i think two it's fine okay now we have done with this logo let's add an input for the search let's say input type it will be text we don't need the name thank you we need the place holder what is the place holder here <coughs> it's search or jump okay let's jump let's say search or jump okay jump like this save let's see how it looks okay that's fine what also we need here we need this to be 
here so how we can do that if you remember we're gonna use the flex so this div and this div it's inside this beautiful div so let's add let's say class flex save as you can see it's fine so we need this to be as you can see uh, to center this in the y axis and we can do that if you remember it will be items dash what is this item dash center let's say dash dash center save okay and let's go to our input we don't need of course first we need some space here so let's add some margin left let's say class here for example class margin left let's say for for example save okay for it's fine what's also we need we need a width for our search if you go here you're gonna see this is take a little bit bigger so let's make this bigger so let's say for example the width will be 96 how about that let's see okay that's fine of course we don't need this background let's remove let's say background gray 900 it's fine let's add a border let's say border and border it will be gray 600 let's save okay gray 600 it's fine let's add some rounded corner here so let's say it will be rounded okay i think it's it's fine and of course we need the text to be let's say the text it will be small okay let's add a padding let's say padding one or two let's let's say two okay two is a little bit bigger let's say one okay i think one is fine of course we don't need this outline so let's remove the outline so let's see here outline outline none save okay now outline it's fine let's change the text let's say when we type we need the text to be text to be gray for example 200 gray 200 save let's type okay i think now it's it's fine what do you think okay now we are done with this uh, with our search let's add our links here so let's go to sublime and let's create another div and this div it will be for our links so let's say an a tag where is the a tag okay and let's duplicate this I think we need this one, two, three, four, uh, four times. Okay. Let's add another one here. Oops. What is this? Let's say duplicate this. Control Shift D to duplicate this. So let's say first it should be this pull request. 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 The second it will be for the issues. So let's say issues okay and the third is the marketplace market place place like this and okay place and this the last one is will be for the explore explore let's save this okay now and as you can see here it's fine so what we gonna do let's go here and let's change the text let's say here where is this tv here okay let's say class the text it will be small of course save okay it's fine and the text it will be let's say gray 200 okay i think gray 200 is fine let's add some margin left so margin left say four for example okay 
Now let's add some hover. So let's go here, domain, multi select, and let's say class. When we hover over our beautiful links, we need the text to be now it's the grade 200. What also we need, we need to change this from 200 to let's say, for example, 500. Let's save this and let's see how it looks. I think 500 it's too much. Let's say 400, for example. Okay, I think 400 it's fine. What do you think? Okay, now it's fine. Let's go to the right links. This div is for what? Now we have the logo and input and links. So we don't need this. Thank you very much. Let's go to the right links. Now what do we have in the right links? Let's see how, what do we have here. We, we have some icons. So let's add some icons to the right links. So let's see a div. It will be the container for icons. And let's say we're going to add three, three icons. Now the first one, it will be, let's add notification icon. So let's say it's not an image, sorry, it's, it will be an A tag. Okay. And of course it will be a font awesome, font awesome icon, say class. And if in the font awesome, we have an if a dash solid and if a dash bell, it's the name of our icon. And let's say the text, of course, it will be, let's say grade 200. And let's save this and see how it looks. Okay, as you can see, we have all icons here. So let's see this to be text to white. We don't need this 200. Let's say text it will be white. Let's save. Okay, now it's fine. Let's add another icon here. Let's say it's not an image. What is this? Let's copy this piece here. Oops. Copy. Paste. And instead of this bill, which is for our notification, we're going to add a plus, a plus icon, as you can see here. Okay. And the last a tag here, it will be an image. As you can see, we have an image here, a profile, this profile image. So let's add that, let's say an AMG and the search of our image, it will be in slash an MG folder and profile.png. So let's say dot slash AMG slash profile dot PNG. Let's save this. Okay, as you can see, our beautiful profile image. Let's add some classes to our image. Of course, let's say class and the width. I think it will be four and the height will be four. Save. As it's here, let's say rounded. Of course, we need this, we need this to be rounded full. Okay, now oh, it's fine. Now we need this to be in one line, so we just need to add the flex here. Let's say class flex. It's not flex, it's flex save. Okay, as you can see, our beautiful icons in the same line. But we need this to be here. How we can do that? Now let's see. Let's go here, and if you see this, this div it take a lot of space inside of the navbar. So let's say, for example, this div it will take eighty percent of our our navbar, and the left space it will be for our icons. So let's see how we can do that. Let's go to Tilewind documentation slash the width, 
and you're gonna see how we can make our div take for example 80 percent okay we need to end this with four dash four slash five so let's copy this and let's go to our div where is the div now okay now this div okay now this div is for the the left links and this div is for the right links okay let's see for example this div it will be the width of our div here it will be four slash five let's add a background to see this background let's say red 900 save let's go here as you can see this is the 80 percent of our of our navbar and the left space here it's 20 percent it will now our icons it will be here in this left space okay and what's also we need Nava. okay now this it's not here it's, it will be here sorry it will be here it's not for the navbar as you can see in here our navbar or background of the navbar is this color that you just create and four slash five from the whole navbar it's here as you can see the red part it's 80 percent of uh, 80 percent from the whole navbar okay let's say this right link let's give a class here and what we need here we need this to be first let's make okay now we need to create a div to contain the whole the two parts so let's do Control x and create a div here now inside this div we're gonna paste our right and left links and let's add here to this uh, div that we just create uh, the class flex let's save this okay as you can see our icons is here so let's go to our right links what we need here we need this to be let's say text right let's save this let's see how it looks okay and let's add the flex and let's see justify and to justify our icons in so let's say justify dash and let's save this why we don't add okay now first we need to specify a weight let's say which it will be one slash four one slash four now one slash four if you go here you're gonna see where is the one slash four okay one slash four is 25 percent okay now you need to okay you need to remember 25 percent it's from the left space here it's not 25 percent from the whole number okay you need to pay attention to this 25 percent which is one slash four it's from this left space here it's not from it's not 25 percent of the whole nav okay and what's also we need here justify and and we need some space of course we need some first we need this to be centered in the y-axis so let's add item center save okay it's fine we need some space here between our icons so let's i think we're gonna add this here so let's say here space x let's say space x for example let's say three save okay why let's say four for example 
white space okay now we have a problem here space space x okay save i think for it's a little bit bigger let's say three oh, i think three it's too much let's say two okay i think two it's fine I think we need some margin here margin x in here so from the right and left so let's add a margin to the whole navbar where is the navbar and let's see here mx for example mx it will be 6 save I think 6 is a little bit bigger so let's I think it's not here let's make the margin x here and let's say just four for example okay i think four it's fine let's remove this back around the red we don't need this just to see our this okay i think now it's it's fine what do you think i think we need this when we hover over this the color changed i think let's see here Okay, let's add this to our project here and of course the icons here we are it okay it's not here it's it's here okay first we need this to be let's see here Where is it okay now let's see here text small first okay i think it's it's fine and let's add a hover here so let's say here do multi select class and let's see when we hover let's see the hover what is this why we have this here let's remove this okay now when we hover over our icons column we need the text for example the text to be gray let's say 500 or 400 and see how it looks nothing changed why okay i think we need this hover here so let's remove this from here and we're gonna add this here so let's remove this and remove this class here and of course we're gonna remove it from here so we need this copy this copy and paste this here and of course we need this to our image now let's save okay I think now it's it's fine. I think now our our navbar it's fine. Now that's it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna try to make our navbar responsive. Because if you go here to to the mobile, you're gonna see this is that it's not looking beautiful. So we're gonna do this in the next video all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video let's try to make our navbar responsive now let's go here to see this in the medium screen you can see this is the medium screen now in the medium screen we don't need to see this search input here so let's go here where is the left links let's open this where is the search now this is the search now let's add a class here class and we're gonna make this hidden hidden like this and we need to show this just in the large screen so large let's say let's say inline save go here you can see this is it's look like this it's in the mobile in the medium screen it's hidden and in the large screen now this is the large screen it will be start showing like this okay now let's go to the mobile let's see here let's go to the mobile screen here 
on the mobile on the mobile screen we don't need to see our links here and we don't need to see our icons also so let's add that let's go where is the links now this is the div that's contain the links okay now let's make this hidden and we're gonna start show this in the medium screen let's say in the medium start from the medium it will be in line okay now let's save this go here and you can see like this of course we're gonna add hidden to our icons we don't need to see our icons in the mobile screen so the right links and let's open this like this and this div does contain our icons of course it will be hidden in the mobile we're gonna start show this start from the medium screen let's say medium Dream and line okay now let's save this go to the mobile and as you can see it's not like this i think now oh, it's fine now what do we need here we need to add an icons here so when we click on this icon we're gonna show our links here so like what we have here you can see when we click on this icon here we're gonna show our links so let's add first this icon so inside the right links of course because our icons is in the right as you can see here so let's minimize this div and let's create a button inside the right links so let's say a button and this button which will contain now this button will contain an image let's say mg and the search it will be if you see here i think we didn't add so i need to add an image here for our uh, for our icons okay now we just add this menu dot svg icon so that we can use in our project let's say dot slash mg slash menu dot svg svg now oh, let's save this and go to see this how it looks okay why we don't see our svg okay now let's add some classes to our image of course the height will be six and the width it will be six for example save okay as you can see our icons is in here so let's start add some classes to our buttons let's say class of course this start from the medium it will be column it will be hidden of course we don't need don't need to show this in the medium and the large screen so let's go here as you can see it will be we don't see our we don't see our icon okay why we see our icons like this so let's go to the right links okay now instead of in in line it will be just flex so in here flex save okay like this now of course we need this we need to show our menu icon just in the mobile screen okay now what's the button okay let's add also some classes let's say we need our icon to be rounded and we need what's also we need we need the background to be gray let's say for example 500 let's save let's see how it looks okay let's add let's say here text white and let's say item center and what's also we need 
let's add a ring let's say a ring size it will be one and let's say ring color it will be black let's save let's see how it looks okay let's say justify let's say justify end justify end okay and what's also we need now we have a background 500 text white item center rings and let's add some let's say ring opacity here let's say ring dash opacity it will be like let's say 20 for example save i think it's it's fine doesn't look like this but let's add padding of course we need padding let's say padding it will be one okay now i think it's it's fine but we need uh as you can see here we need this to be we need some space here space y so let's go here to the div that's contained now this div here we're gonna add let's say space y let's say or padding y we don't need space y let's say padding y it will be two for example let's see how it looks okay i think two it's fine so what do we need right now we need when we click on this icon here like what we have here when we click on this icon show this list here so first let's create this list so let's go inside here inside of our uh, inside of our navbar so let's add an inorder list and each inorder list it will contain a list and each list it will contain an a tag okay first it will be pull request 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 like this and let's duplicate this l i okay i think we let's go here and see how much we have one two three it's four so this is one two three we need another one let's duplicate this okay but first is pull the request the second will be issues let's say issues and the third it will be of course the marketplace marketplace and the third it will be explore okay I'll save this of course let's add some classes to this ul i think start from the medium start from the medium we don't need to see this so it will be hidden we need to see this just in the mobile screen first let's save this and go and see how it looks okay let's look like this fine so let's add some classes to our to our our ul or another list so first is we're gonna add a padding to you can see we have some padding on the side and let's start add some classes to our li or inside of this a tag let's do much to select here and it's also here so let's do a space class what we need of course we need the text and change the text color so let's say text 
text it will be gray let's say 500 when we hover of course let's say when we hover over our text we need this to change from 500 to 700 for example what's also we need we need the font to be medium 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 like this okay and what's also we need let's say text small i think oh, let's save this and see how it looks okay let's see when we hover it will be like this i think we need a padding as you can see the same padding that we have on this logo we need this to be here so let's see here panic two this time we need a margin left let's say four let's see how it looks i think four it's too much let's say for example three okay i think three it's fine i think three it's fine let's minimize here instead of 500 let's make for example here Let's make 400 for example. 400. We don't need this here. Okay, save. Okay, I think now it's fine. So we need, of course, some space. So let's say py. What is this? Another list. Let's say py. py of 2, for example let's see how it looks okay two i think two it's small let's add let's say three for example okay now three it's it's fine what's also we need we need to add the search box where is the search box here so we're gonna copy our search box but we're gonna make this inside let's copy this input here and let's paste this in here but we're gonna make this inside and, and list okay let's paste this save let's see how it looks okay why we have this margin left so we don't need this margin left here save to so go here okay now i think it's it's fine as you can see here okay what do we have here padding y i think it's not padding y let's make it space y let's say space y three for example okay now it's fine okay I think now our links it's is fine. All right, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna add some JavaScript. When we click on this icon here, we need to show this. And when we click another time, we need to hide our in order list here or our links. So how we can do that? So first here we're gonna let's go here. Now we have this another list as you can see here. Okay. Now another list is in here. First let's remove this medium. We don't need this. We need this to be hidden in all screen. So let's go here and see. As you can see, it doesn't show anything. Because we need this when we click over our icon in here so how we can do that let's give this a name let's say for example another class let's say for example our menu this is our menu or let's call it for example mobile let's say mobile to see this mobile dash menu okay oh well, that's fine let's go here to our buttons now this button here we need to add another 
a name to give a name to our button let's say mobile icon for example because this icon is shown just in the mobile so it's called mobile icon so now we have mobile icon and the menu uh, the mobile menu so we need when we click on the mobile icon to show this mobile menu how we can do that let's add some javascript here at the bottom of our body as you can see in here let's say script because we're gonna write some javascript okay javascript and inside this two script tags we're gonna write our code so let's create a constant let's call it for example our menu or let's call it our menu equal now let's go let's say document dot query let's say document dot query selector selector and what we're gonna select we're gonna select let's add here semicolon what we're gonna select here we're gonna select our menu what is our menu this menu so let's copy this menu paste it here now we create a constant called menu so this menu is our menu that we create here the mobile menu okay let's create another constant let's say const let's call it for example icon equal let's say document query selector let's copy this paste it here but this time it's not the mobile menu it's the mobile icon so the logic here what is the logic here we need when we click on our icon to show the menu so let's do that let's say icon which is this constant here dot add let's add event event listener so let's say listener an event listener what is the event listener of course it will be click when we click off over our icon what we need to do let's do a comma here comma and let's do an anonymous function here okay okay let's make here this function so when we click over this when we click over our icon that's mean add event listener we listen to any click on our button here which is here if you remember which is this button here so when we click over this what we need to do we need to remove or to show this menu here so let's do that let's say menu menu like this oops menu dot we gonna say class list dot toggle and we gonna open this and see hidden and we gonna explain what this mean now when we click as you can see here when we click on this icon here which is the icon that we created here this button here we need to this class list this class list dot toggle it's it will remove this hidden from our in order list here let's go to the mozilla let's see here and go here we go to the mozilla as you can see here the toggle method on the dom token list interface remove an existing token from the list so what do we need to remove here in our case we need to remove the hidden class 
so when we when 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 we remove this hidden in this unordered list this unordered list will be shown here okay you understand the logic it's very simple we create two constant the first it will be the menu and the second it will be the icon when we click on this icon we need this to we need the menu to to be visible in our page so we're gonna remove the hidden from this here as you can see we add the hidden here so we need to remove this okay it's very simple now let's save this go to our here the github clone and go to the mobile so let's click here doesn't show anything why i think we have a problem so let's say const menu the command selector or mobile menu mobile icon say menu that class list toggle and let's see what is the problem here now this is the icon mobile icon let's see if this is mobile icon okay and this is mobile menu okay now what is the problem here okay now the problem is we forgot to add a dot here because this is a class so when we need to select a class of course we need to add here a dot okay now let's see it's save and go and see if it's working or not okay now it's perfect it's working fine as you can see here it's fine let's go here to desktop screen okay now it's fine we just add the javascript to our navbar so that we make our navbar responsive in the mobile screen all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video let's try to create this part here before we do that we need to change of course this background as you can see here so let's add the color that you just create here in the timing config which is this color to our body so let's do that in style.css so what we're gonna do let's see the layer that we're gonna use at this time is base so let's say base like this and let's open and let's say body course because we need to change the body and let's say add apply course what we're gonna apply to body we need just to change the background so let's say background it will be github body which is the color that we just create here in tilewind.config.js okay now let's hit save here and see if this change or not let's see here okay now as you can see our body changed okay now let's try to create this part here so let's create a div so go here to the index let's say here this is the main section and let's create a div it will be the container for this main section let's have some space and let's create another command let's say the profile this is the profile let's create a div for our profile okay that's fine so what do we have here if you go to our profile now we have an image title and a button here so let's do that so here inside of this div our profile div we're gonna create let's say a div for the image and let's say another div it will contain the title or the name of the profile and the button so let's start by adding the image let's say image and the search it will be of course here mg and profile.png so let's do that dot slash mg slash profile dot png okay and let's save this go to see our project okay now we have our beautiful image here 
So let's add some classes to this image. So that we can minimize the size. Let's say class. Of course, the weight will be 40 and the height will be 40. And let's say it will be rounded, of course, full. Let's save this. Okay, now we have our image here. Let's add the title here and the button. So let's go here, create another div. Okay, and inside this div, we're gonna create a div for the title. So let's say for the name, Lara Lorenzo, the name. And here we're gonna create, create a button. Let's say button, and it will be follow button. And let's save. So how it looks okay. And this is the title, and this is the button. So let's add some classes to our title. So of course we need a title. Let's say first class. <coughs> we need to change the size. Let's say text 3xl, and let's say change the color text gray for example 400 or 300 and let's say text medium medium okay let's save this see how it looks okay it's fine let's add some classes to our button so that we need our button to be a little bit bigger so let's say class <coughs> of course we need a border and we need the border be gray, for example, 600. And let's say a py will be one. And let's say we need our button to be rounded. So let's save this. Okay, as you can see, our button here. So we need to add some width to our button. So let's say the width of our button. Let's say width will be four slash five from our profile div so let's save this and see how it looks okay it's look a little bit bigger because we don't give a width a fixed width to our div or to our profile section here as you can see here this profile section take a fixed width so let's do that let's see how we, let's go to Tailwind documentation and let's say 25%. We need to take 25% from the whole page for our profile here. So let's do that. 25%. Where is this 25? Okay, it's one slash four. Let's copy that and go to the div here and let's say class one slash four. Save. And let's go here to our project now you're gonna see now our profile section take just 25 percent from the whole page so to see this let's add a background let's say background red 200 for example as you can see this is the 25 percent from this the whole page okay and our button take how much is take it's take 20 percent now let's see here and go and let's see search for four slash five it's 20 percent from our our div here it's not from our page it's just from this parent div okay and now let's remove this background you don't need background just to to see our div so let's hit save okay now it's fine as you can if you go here you're gonna see that we have some margin x so let's add that to the we're gonna add this to this div here let's contain the whole section let's say mx for example 8 let's see how it looks okay i think it's it's fine of course we need some margin top so let's add some margin top here let's say margin top 
let's say for example then save okay now it's fine what do we need also let's add this p tank so let's first let's copy this copy and we're gonna add this here so where is the divas contain we have the divas contain our our title and button so let's add another div here now and let's say this div will contain this p tag okay it will contain now this div it will contain the p tag and also the a tag that we're gonna have here if you go here you're gonna see that we have those links here that show the number of followers and numbers of following so let's do that inside of this a tag of course we're gonna add a font awesome class or font awesome icon sorry let's say class let's say for example if a solid and if a let's see that we have an icon called users users and okay let's say for example that we have let's say 100 and let's, let's add a span here and let's say this is for the followers followers okay let's copy this two times okay and this is for example for the following following okay let's say for example this person follow 23 and here it's for the star i mean star this profile has so let's say 100 here it will be star following it will be or in this we don't need we don't need this let's remove the oh, let's let's see the following okay let's say users let's save let's see how it looks i think we don't need the icon here so let's see how it looks here okay now let's remove this icon we don't need icon for this uh, following section so let's remove this and let's hit save okay now it's look like this okay let's add let's say the text let's change the text here so where is this p tag let's say class for the p tag it will be text let's say text gray 400 and the text it will be small let's save okay it's fine let's do the same for our icons so let's see here we're gonna add some classes let's see multi select class of course text it will be gray 400 for the color and let's say text small save okay it's fine so here when we hover over this we need to change the color of text so let's go to the span what is the span here and spawn here let's say class let's say a hover colon i need the text to be below 300 for example save go here and let's see if that working okay now when we hover over this the color change so let's add some space here so here we need let's say here for example we need a margin bottom so let's say margin bottom of four save okay so that we have some space here let's add some space between our p tag and the button so let's go here to this div let's say class and let's say for example margin top say six for example save okay so that we have some space here let's add some space between our title and 
our button so let's do that where is the title and button okay here so let's say here a class say for example space y for see how it looks okay it's fine so let's add some margin top between our title and image let's go here where is this div the same div it will be some margin top say six for example okay now i think it's it's fine like this i think it's fine it's like this here let's add we forgot to add here as you can see when we hover over our color and we forgot to change the text so let's do that where is the the button okay the button is here so let's say the text let's add let's make it small and let's say the text it will be gray 200 and when we hover over our button we need the border to change let's say border in order to be gray 600 it will be 200 let's save and see how it looks okay think how it's it's fine let's make it i think 300 200 here it's too big let's make it for example 400 let's see how it looks okay i think it's it's fine now okay that's it for this video in the next video we're gonna finish what we have here in this profile section all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video let's try to finish our profile section so what do we have here we have this email part and this organization part here so let's do that before we do that we need a border bottom here so let's add this in our div where is this div here so let's add let's say a border and let's say border bottom border bottom and border gray 600 let's remove this no need this we need the border be bottom dust in the bottom here so let's hit save and let's see here how it looks okay so let's add some padding so that we have some space between our border and our text let's say padding bottom six for example save so how it looks okay now it looks fine now let's create another div here that will contain this email part so let's do that now this div is for our section here and this div here is what is this div okay when we create this div here okay let's let's make the email part here so let's create another div inside of this div and it will contain our a tag and let's say here it will contain our font awesome icon so it will be fa solid and fa dash envelope envelope and of course the text will be white or gray 200 and the width and the height it will be the height will be 4 let's save this let's see how it looks okay as you can see our email icon is here so let's add another div and inside oops inside this div here so let's add another div and let's say the email email at email or address whatever you want address.com okay so let's save this and let's see how it looks okay as you can see our email is here 
so of course we need this to be in one line so we're gonna add flex if you remember we're gonna add the flex so let's do that let's go here inside this div here let's say class this it will be flex save okay as you can see our email is here so let's add some classes to this email div okay this div here well let's let's make our email inside of an a tag let's say a tag here and inside this we're gonna make our email so let's add some classes of course we need the text to be let's say gray 200 in here okay and let's say for example the font will be medium font medium save okay it's fine let's add some let's center this in the y axis so let's do that let's say here the flex and it will be of course item center and let's make some space so let's say py say four for example let's see how it looks okay it's fine let's add some space between this email and this icon so we're gonna add here say class margin left say two for example so it looks okay I think it looks fine I think when we hover we don't add a hover so I think we need to add a hover here or what do you think okay let's leave it like this so let's create another this under section here which is this section which is the organization section so let's add of course we need to add a border bottom here so that we have this border here as you can see let's add that so let's say here after py4 we need a border bottom of course border bottom and the border of course will be gray 600 save go here okay that's fine let's add another div so this div it will contain our organization and our images let's do that of course here and let's say let's say here add some comments so that you remember this let's say this is the email mail part or section or whatever you want let's say here let's say here it's, it will be the organi organization section section like this okay let's add another div which will contain a organization section let's say here and div and let's say organization let's copy this instead of writing this from scratch and let's add here another div and of course this div it will contain it's another div and this div it will contain an a tag a tag okay and inside our a tag it will contain an image okay now let's see here for example let's take an image here where is the next so let's say dot slash mg slash next dot png dot png and we're gonna duplicate this three times i think we have three times here. so let's see how it looks in here okay now as you can see we have three icons here or three images so let's change add some classes to our images first and then we're gonna add classes to what do we have here so let's say class of course we need the width it will be a and the height will be eight and of course this will be rounded full 
and let's hit save and see how it looks okay as you can see our icons is here so what we gonna do right now we're gonna make this of course as a flex so let's say flex so the div does contain okay now it is the div okay now this div contain all images so let's add here let's say a class and it will be flex of course save okay as you can see so we need of course some space between our our icons so let's do that let's see here space x it will be two let's save okay as you can see our images let's change our images right now so we have let's say the first it will be next this second let's say for example it will be gatsby.js gatsby gatsby.svg sorry and the third it will be what is the third here code okay code dot png save okay like this it's fine let's add some classes to our organization here so let's do that where is our device contain organization let's say class let's say font will be medium and the text let's make it gray 200 i think that's it that's what we need for this organization of course we need some space let's add some space so here inside this div here and well, let's add a margin top here let's say margin top let's say two for example let's save okay i think two is fine what do you think okay i think it's it's fine like this it's look like like this here well let's add some margin top between our here or this our border and title so let's go here of course we're gonna add here let's say margin top say for example to save okay now it looks fine okay now that's it for this video see you in the next video Alright, everybody welcome to this new video now this video is trying to create this part here now before we do that let's make this part responsive if you go here to our project when we go to the mobile screen you're gonna see that it's not responsive because it's take the 25 percent in also in the mobile screen so we don't need this so let's go to here as you can see the profile section now we need this to apply just start from medium screen not start from the mobile screen so let's add here the prefix md colon one slash four and here and the mobile it will be the weight it will be full now it's hit save let's see if that is working okay now it's working fine as you can see it looks beautiful okay now right now let's work on this part here as you can see now what do we have in this part let's do the structure for our part here so you have this div we need to create a div that will contain this whole section as you can see and we need to create another div that's contained this section as you can see here and we're gonna create another div that will contain this section that's what we're gonna do in this video so let's start doing this and let's where is this thing okay well let's go to our supply and this is the 
mobile let's say here the profile okay let's say here and profile and the profile section okay let's call this new section now this div is for this so let's make it like this okay okay that's fine so here end of the profile section what's we we're gonna call this section is called main for example okay now let's create a div that will be the container for the whole section and let's create another div that will be contain this section here our links and let's start creating our links here so the first div it will be overview and the second div it will be for let's create another div here and inside this div we're gonna create an a tag okay and let's call it for example repository repositories okay and of course inside inside of this div let's create here another div it will contain the numbers of repository that we have so let's go it for example here let's make it eight okay uh -huh, let's hit save and let's see okay let's remove this piece here let's hit save and go to see how it looks here okay now as you can see we have our repositories in but we need this of course to be in here so let's define let's give this part this part here a width so let's do that let's go to sublime text where is this main section now this main section it will take so say the width will be 3 slash 4 if you go to the documentation here you're gonna see what is the 3 slash 4 the width in here is 75 percent which is now this part here take 25 and this take this part here it will take 75 but as you can see even when we define this part to take 75 we need this to be flex so that we have this part the first part and the second part in one line so let's do that now this is the main section and this is the profile section as you can see we need this part here which is the parent for the whole sections two sections to be flex so let's see here it will be flex let's hit save and let's see here now as you can see like this okay so let's add if you go here you're gonna see let's to see this in action so let's see here it will be the background of this it will be say for example yellow and let's see this part here the background it will be instead of gray it will be green okay let's see green just to see this in action i see it's save now as you can see here now this is the 75 percent from the page and this is the 25 percent and we make them flex to align them in one line as you can see here. so that's why we use the flex for this section here so let's remove this now we don't need this just to see our two divs okay now let's add some classes here to our this div first div here so let's see for example this class let's see we need a border border let's say border bottom two for example and let's say the font will be font will be normal okay 
and let's say text it will be gray to handle and let's say a border the color of our border will be red say for example 300 let's hit save and see how it looks okay as you can see it looks like this also we need this let's duplicate this div so this div here we're gonna duplicate this because we need this three times i think now we have the repository and i think that we have projects let's say projects and we have the packages i think let's say package packages okay now let's hit save now we have project packages and repositories so of course we need also this to be flex so let's add flex here to this div does contain all our links or all our other divs so let's say class flex so let's go here and see how it looks it looks like this now it's fine let's add here a width for our div here so let's say the width of this div it will be say for example 96 hit save okay doesn't don't see anything because let's see here let's add the background let's say for example here green background to see the width in our page here okay so that's also we need let's add item centers so let's go here and see here our items will be center and of course we need a border bottom if you go here you're gonna see that we need a border bottom here so let's add that let's say here a border dash b and the color will be of course gray six six hundred I think that's what we need for this div. Let's hit save. Go here and see how it looks. You don't see the border because with this uh, green background. So let's start adding some classes to our repositories and our project and packages. Of course, each of this we need this to be in flex. As you can see here, the repository and the number here. So let's add that. Let's go to the div. Now we have the div that's contained the number and the div is contained this link. So we need this to be flex. So let's say it will be flex, of course. We hit save. Go here. Okay, now as you can see, the number is here. Let's do that for the others. So let's say project and this will be of course class flex and let's do this also for this let's say class and it will be flex. I'll hit save. Go here. Okay. Now as you can see. So we need here some space X of course between so that we have some space between our divs here so let's do that for this where is the div that contain the parent okay here let's make some space x to be 3 for example let's save okay as you can see we have some space what also we need if you go here i think we need this background for this number here so let's do that let's go to this div as we contain here let's say class what we're gonna say let's say the text it will be gray for example 200 and let's say the background it will be green let's make it green 900 and let's say px let's say 2 for example let's say py for 1 and we need this to be a rounded full of course uh, let's hit save and see how it looks go here okay now we don't see this because this uh, with this green background so let's remove the green background where is the green 
Okay, now let's remove this. We don't need this. Thank you. Go here. Okay, now it's look like this. But we need this to be in one. As you can see, let's do item center to this. Where is this repository? Okay, flex. And uh, let's see here. Items. Of course, it will be center. And we need a padding. Let's say uh, the padding of four. Let's hit save. Go here. Okay, like this. It's looking beautiful. So what's also we need here? We need to change. Let's change the text here to be like this. So let's do this now. Here the project class text will be gray not 400 just make it 200 let's copy this of course for this div here and package it will be like this packages all right hit save here see how it looks okay of course we need also the text to be let's say the text here also we need the same class here so let's copy this let's do multi select space and paste let's see how it looks okay i think it's fine but we need some space between our text and the number so let's add that so how we can do that if you remember now this is the div here let's add some space x so it's space x2 let's add here also space x2 save okay now i think it's fine so let's change the text repository where is the repository okay let's so be class and text gray 200 hit save okay it's fine Let's change this background to, I think it's gray. So let's do that. Let's say, what is the eight? Let's say here, it will be gray. Let's make it 900 or 800. Let's save. Okay, I think it's, it's fine like this. Let's also add SpaceX to this repository with this number. Let's do that with the repository here okay i think here we're gonna add space space x let's say two let's save okay it's fine let's add some margin left here so that we have some margin left here as you can see so let's add where is now oh, here we're gonna add let's say margin left six for example save okay now i think it's fine margin left six it's fine and let's change here the width of i think it's not it's not here what should we do here where is it okay now this 96 let's make it full and we're gonna add and we're gonna say 96 in in the in the mobile screen i think okay let's do that like this okay let's look like this okay what's also we need i think that's it for this part here let's create this part so let's create another div here so we have this div okay let's do like this and let's add here another div and inside this div we're gonna add let's say here popular okay popular repository repo repository like this okay and another div duplicate this it will be customize let's say customize your pins work hit save 
So how it looks here. Okay. So we need this to be flex, of course. Let's make this flex. Let's add here class flex and it will be of course items center. I say hit save. Okay, as you can see, we need to now this as you let's see here, we need this to be let's take okay, see here. Let's divide this into now this full width here. We're gonna divide this into part and we're gonna make this as you can see here like like this we're gonna divide our width into you can see into parts so let's do that here let's say the, the first the first div here let's say class it will take the width when the width will be one slash two half of page and the width it will be full of course it's not the width will be full it's let's say here now the width will be one slash two that's mean it will take a half of our page let's do that for this second div here let's say class it will be one slash two and let's change the text let's say for example here text it will be gray the color it will be gray 200 and for this now let's hit save first to see how it looks here as you can see let's to see our divs let's make here for example the background red 300 and let's do here a background red let's say here for example 900 to see the two divs here as you can see our two divs here take the half of each one take the half of this width that we have here okay now we need this to be here so let's add justify and to this let's say justify and hit save let's see how it looks here okay let's let's say the text all right let's say text right here justify and let's remove the justify and stay text let's say text dash right so that we need our text to be here okay and i think that's what we need for this too and let's make this font here for this second let's say here text it will be small save let's see okay i think it's it's fine like this we need some padding top okay now we need some padding top so let's add that let's say here for example padding top to be six hit save and let's see how it looks here okay let's do the same for this here let's add padding top it will be six say padding top six here save and let's see how it looks okay i think it looks fine let's remove the two backgrounds don't need the background here let's remove this and also remove this okay I hit save let's see how it looks okay i think it looks fine okay now that's it for this video in the next video we're gonna try to create our repository sections here all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video let's try to create this repository section so let's go here and let's see here okay here we're gonna add let's say the repo section okay now what do we have here let's create a div because we need a div here and inside this div let's create another div and of course we gonna add another div here so this div it will contain an a tag 
and a p tag here now the a tag here it will be let's say for example next oops it's not here it's here let's say next js the name of our repository and p tag it's the description for the repository let's say for example this repo this repo is about next next js okay here and okay now let's create here another div div like this and this div will contain some numbers you can see here this div that's contain the name and some numbers if numbers of star and numbers of fork or whatever this now let's see here let's see we need a div for the name it will be next next gs duplicate this and let's duplicate it let's see here for example 10,000 example star and let's create another div 5k for example fork okay now let's hit save and let's see how it looks in our project here okay now we have the name next this the description and the two or three numbers here so let's start by our div here we need this to be flex of course say class flex and let's say text it will be small let's see how it looks here okay as you can see like this so let's add some space let's say space x2 let's try to see how it looks two it's fine let's add here some classes to our our uh, links or our numbers here so it's do what is it like say class let's say text thin and let's change the color let's say for example text gray 200 and let's say here for example let's say text extra small you see how extra small looks save let's see how it looks okay i think it's fine let's add some margin top so let's do here margin top here say margin top let's make it six let's see how it looks six okay it's fine so let's add a border here we need a border so let's go to this div here let's contain a whole repository and let's say we need a border for that we need a class let's say class border and we need border of course in the all sides so let's make it border and border gray 600 let's hit save see how it looks okay look like this we need some padding of course let's add padding let's say we need px to be four for example and let's say py of course py be also four once you hit save see how it looks okay it looks fine let's add some classes to our here our next the name of our repository here so let's go here what is the next let's add class of course we need this text to be text blue 300 and we need when we hover over this we need an underline let's say underline okay let's save let's go here okay when we hover this is what we have an underline let's see how it looks here okay i think we need the text to be let's say here say text medium where is it okay let's say text will be medium 
Okay, now it's fine. Let's add some uh, some classes to our our p tag here. So let's see here where is the p tag? Okay, let's add some classes. Let's say class text of course will be gray two hundred. Okay, and we need a margin top. Let's say for example we need a margin top of two. And let's say the font it will be C10. Save. See how it looks. Okay, I think it's fine. I think we need this to be rounded, so let's add this here. Where is this? Okay, where is the okay here? We need this to be rounded, rounded like this. And let's add here the text be small. Let's see how it looks here. Okay, now it's fine. But as you can see here, it's take the whole space here. So we don't need to do that. We need this to take the half of this space here. So let's add that. Let's go here. What is the div that's contained? Okay. What is the div that's contained this space? It's that div here. Now we need to define the width of this. It will take a half of the page. So it's one slash two. One slash two. Let's hit save. Let's see how it looks. Okay, that's fine. Let's add another. Now let's duplicate this. Let's duplicate this to half two. Okay. But we need this to be flex, of course, so that we we have this next this next repository here. So let's add the flex here. So this is the first repository, and this is the second repository as you can see here. But here we need this to be flex. So let's say class flex, of course. Let's hit save. Okay, and we need some space between our two repositories. So let's do that. If you remember, we're gonna use space x. Let's say two. Okay, now it's it's fine. What do you think? Let's change just the name of this repository. For example, let's make this repository the second repository here. Say for example, Tailwind, Tailwind CSS. And let's see. copy this paste this here. Let's hit save. Okay, now oh, it's fine. And let's duplicate this two one more times so that we have four here. So let's do that. So now we're gonna copy this div here. So let's do that. Let's copy this. Now this is the repo section. And here let's add, let's say here for example, where is this name here? Okay, let's see here. Let's say repo two number two. Let's hit PC here so that we have two repositories here. Okay, but we need some space here, as you can see. So let's add that. What we gonna do now? This second repository. We'll have here, let's say, margin top of two. So let's hit save. Okay, now it's fine. I think that's it for this video. See you in the next video. We're gonna try to create this part here. And also, we need to remove the padding X, as you can see here. We don't have the padding X here. So let's remove that. Where is this? The main section is here, but I think here margin X. So we don't need this margin X in the mobile. So medium start at margin X. So it will be like this. Okay, I think it's fine like this, but we need some. Let's add some. Padding. So in the mobile, we need the padding or margin X. 
just to be one okay uh, it's look it's look nice what do you think uh, it's look nice what's also we need to change if there is anything that we need to change here so in the medium flex margin left i think we don't need this margin left okay it's not a problem okay now what we also we're gonna do here we don't need this much space here so let's go here to this the div that we con let's contain the main so do it here let's take just three slash four but we need this just in the medium we don't need this in the mobile so let's hit save and let's see how it looks here okay now let's take the whole space and what also we need we don't need this margin left in the mobile so medium we need this just in the medium hit save okay now it looks fine let's add some padding x to the whole let's say a px here let's say for example a px of one so that we have some space okay it's fine and let's add also a px to this section here to the profile so let's see here px one but we need this just in the mobile so px in the mobile it will be one but start from medium let's say px it will be zero we don't need px so let's see here and paste here now let's see how it looks now it looks fine as you see it looks beautiful if you go to the desktop screen it's fine that's it for this video and see you in the next video we're gonna try to create this part here as you can see all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video let's try to create this contribution section as you can see here so let's do that let's go here and remove this now inside of our main div we're gonna create another section let's say contribution section and let's do some space now what do we have here in this contribution section first we need to create two divs so let's create a div that will be the container for this section and inside of this we need two two divs now first will be let's just copy this and first will be like this this is here and the second it will be contribution settings so let's copy and paste it for this second div here so let's first let's make this in a div let's make here oops another div and inside this div it will be like this okay so let's give some classes to this div that contain this contribution section so let's add some classes let's say class what do we need let's say some padding top first let's save this and see how it looks in here okay as you can see look like this so we need some padding top of six so let's say text it will be small and let's say text it will be gray to 200 and let's give some classes also to this div here so let's say text it will be 10 and let's say text small of course and let's say font font light so let's see here font light light okay and what's also we need let's say text it will be gray 
to 200 so let's save this let's see how it looks in here okay as you can see like this now we need this to be here so how we can do that of course we're gonna use the flex now this div here it's contain this div and this div so let's give a class flex for this so let's say flex save as you can see it's like this we have some space here because we have some padding so let's add a padding to this also so we have this padding top 6 so let's add a padding top 6 here save ok as you can see the same line now we need this to be here so we're gonna do the same strategy that we use for this so we're gonna divide this in two and we're gonna justify our text here to the right so let's do that let's say here for this div it will be the weight it will be one slash two so the half of our space and also here it will be the weight it will be one one slash two okay let's save as you can see it's like this class text dash right here so let's save let's add here okay now this weight we need the weight to be here so let's hit save okay now as you can see our contribution is here so we just uh, apply the same strategy here so we did we divide here this space this page here or the space that we have here okay now this is the div and we divide this one half is for this and other half is for this contribution setting and we use text to write so we position we add the position to uh, position right to our text here. okay now let's add uh, another div that will contain our image as you can see here so let's do that so this is the div and let's add here another div let's say a div and it will be inside of this div we're gonna have an image so let's say image now image is the contribution i think it's called contribution.png so let's do that source dot slash mg slash contribution dot png so let's hit save let's see how it looks here okay we don't have this image why i think we did a problem here so it dot slash mg okay now we have this our image here of course we need a border for around this image so let's do that let's go here to this div and let's say class of course we need a border and the border will be gray 600 let's hit save and let's see how it looks okay as you can see of course we need this to be rounded so let's add class rounded so our div say rounded and save and let's go here okay now this is rounded and we need also some padding as you can see here on all side we need some padding so let's say padding for for example and save okay now we have padding four and we need the weight here this image we need this image to take the whole space here so let's add that here to the image where is the image okay let's add here a class let's say class and the width it will be full okay so the image will take the whole space available so save okay let's look like this i think it's fine like this we need some padding bottom here 
I think so. Where is this div here? Let's add some padding bottom. Let's see padding padding bottom two for example. Save. Okay, I think now it's fine. Okay, now that's it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna try to create our footer that we have here. So see you in the next video. Alright everybody welcome to this new video. Now in this video we're gonna try to create our footer section here as you can see. So let's do that. If you uh, okay here we're gonna do uh, this is this main and the main section is here. So I need here. So let's add here. Let's say it's is the footer. Okay. Let's add a div here. This div will will be the container for our footer, and we're gonna do the same footer that we did with the the Google clone. If you remember, so we're gonna create two divs, and we're gonna use the grid. Not know if you remember or not, but we did like this. So let's duplicate this four times, and let's do this inside this div and let's duplicate this times so here so we're gonna have here github okay so let's see here we'll have github oops comma link and let's see here for example 20 2022 20, and let's say here, for example, that we have a terms and here that we have privacy, privacy like this. Okay. And what is this? What is this? Okay. And here I think it's the security. As well as the security. Like this, and here let's say, for example, contact, contact us, contact us, and here let's say, for example, API, and let's say here, for example, docs, and here, what is here? Let's see here, okay, say shop, for example, let's say shop. Okay, now let's hit save and see what's just created here. So, okay, now as you can see here, our footer is here. So we need this to be great, of course. So let's add that. So let's say here to this div class, we need this to be great. Great like this. And grid dash columns two columns of course we need two columns here and let's add some mx let's say for example 10 let's save and see how it looks okay as you can see it looks beautiful so and then each div here we need this to be flex so let's add here flex and of course let's add this flex here so let's hit save Okay, now it's fine as you can see. So what we need to do here, we need to change the text. So let's say for example here text, it will be gray 200 and also here we need text to be oops, gray 200, save. Okay, and we need some space of course. So let's say here, oops, we need some space pay multi select space x let's say for example 4 let's save okay and then we need this to be here so let's do here we're gonna add just for this we're gonna add justify end so let's hit save Okay, now it looks fine. 
let's add some space here so how we can do that let's add say here space x because we need some space between this div and this div in the x axis so it will be space x2 let's hit save let's see if this is fine okay i think now this is it's fine what's also we need here let's add some margin top so of course here we need some margin top so let's say margin top six see how it looks okay i think now it's it's fine but let's see how this looks in the mobile screen so if you go to the mobile screen you're gonna see that it doesn't look fine so let's fix that now in the mobile screen we don't need this to be two columns we need this to be one column so let's add a medium here start from the medium we need two columns but in the mobile we need the grid dash calls one we need just one column Let's hit save let's see how it looks okay i think it's fine and what's also we need we need the second div here to to be here so where is this div and let's say let's say it will be justify and and let's see how it looks here okay it's not justify and it's justify center save okay now it looks fine and let's go to the mobile and uh, to the desktop and it doesn't look fine so in the desktop we need this to be justify start let's say medium it will be justify start like this and save okay now it's fine let's go here to the mobile and see if everything is fine so we need to minimize the the font size here so let's go to where is the contribution okay here text small so let's say the text small it will be in the medium but in the mobile we need this to be text let's say extra say extra small Hit save see how it looks okay go here okay now i think it's fine just finish it our project let's see here i think the text we need text to be so what is this footer text here okay so let's say text small okay and i think we forgot to add one let's add train in here so forgot to add this train in here so let's do duplicate and let's say training okay let's save now here okay now i think it's look like like this we need the padding so we add, let's add some padding here let's say for example we need a padding bottom padding bottom of 4 let's save okay now i think it's fine what do you think we just create our github clone using tailwind css see you in the next project all right welcome everybody to this new video now in this video we're gonna try to create our next project which is twitter we're gonna try to clone twitter as you can see the layout of twitter is like this it's uh, three parts let's see here it's the first part which is this left side bar and this is the main section the second part and the third part will be this right side bar as you can see we have a blank projects here and also we have here as you can see 
title should be twitter clone and just add here the font awesome link because we're gonna use the font awesome in this project and also i have a folder here called images which contain the image images that we gonna use in this project okay now first let's go here we're gonna add some colors custom colors to our tilewind.config.js let's see here colors okay colon we're gonna add two colors the first it will be twitter let's say for example twitter blue let's say twitter blue and the value it will be uh let's say 1d 9b f0 f0 okay comma the second color it will be let's say twitter white okay white color and of course the value it will be uh -huh, d9 d d9 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 this is the white color with some opacity that's it and this is the blue color i save this now let's go here let's say for example let's create an h1 here send h1 and let's oops h1 let's duplicate this let's say for example the twitter blue and here let's say for example it will be the twitter white just to see this in action white and here it's the blue let's say for example here class text 3xl and the text it will be for example this is the twitter white let's copy this paste it here as a class and copy this and let's see here instead of twitter white it will be twitter blue right save this oh, as you can see here our blue color it's like this and the white color it's like this just to see our colors let's remove this now let's create a div here now this div it will be it will contain the whole project as you can see we have three parts in our project let's say we have the left side bar okay and we have the main let's say the main section and the part three it will be the right side bar let's say the right side bar okay now let's start with the left side bar here so let's go here and let's see what we do we have here so we have some buttons as you can see and our logo okay now let's do that before we do that we're gonna add a class here we're gonna add a background let's say a background gray 100 for example it's not 100 let's say 900 and let's say it will be flex the whole project will be a flex why flex because as you can see all this part is in one line here this part and this part and this part it's a flex so that's why we use flex here okay and let's see here for example the high we need this to be screen and the margin let's say mx auto let's save this let's see how it's look in our project here okay as you can see we have our background gray 900 now let's start creating our buttons and our logo so let's go here in this left side bar of course we're gonna add a div and this div will contain two parts now the first part will be for the logo and the second part will be 
for our buttons let's add some comments let's say this is the logo part and this part will be say for example buttons okay I save this so have some space let's start with the logo first let's add some classes to this div does contain our sidebar okay oh well, let's add some uh, let's add our logo here so this logo inside this div let's add a span span and inside our span we're gonna add an i let's say a tag and let's add a class and we're gonna use the font awesome now in font awesome we have uh, an icon of twitter logo or twitter brand let's say if a it's called if a dash brand false brand okay brand, oops brand and if a dash twitter i think twitter let's save this let's see if we have this okay now we have this as you can see here let's add some let's say the weight it will be 14 and the height will be 14 for example save okay i think this it will be for this div here now let's say class first it will be flex of course and let's say items center and let's add the weight and the height of our uh, logo here and let's say let's save this see how it's now okay let's say for example that we're gonna use the text it will be twitter twitter blue the color that we just add here okay now as you can see here and what's also we need let's add some margin let's say here margin left say margin left for example 20 say 20 save this okay now we, as you can see our logo is here let's add our buttons here so let's go to our div that will contain our buttons and let's say here a class but before we do that we're gonna add here a div that will contain our buttons here in this div which will contain it will contain a pane okay and this pane for example let's say this is the home and here we're gonna add an icon from the font awesome let's say class and it will be if a dash solid and it will be if a dash house let's say house like this now let's save this go and as you can see we have our icon and our text here of course we need some margin left so let's add margin left to our div here let's see here class and it will be let's say for example it will be margin left like what we have here 20 let's say 20 save okay now we have 20 here let's change the color of course let's say the text text it will be uh, twitter blue or it will be twitter white let's say twitter white save okay it's fine and let's duplicate this let's see here paste it here and here and here and here okay now let's say for example that we're gonna have now we have the home we're gonna have for example here for example let's say explore let's say explore 
let's say this for example it will be notification notifications okay here for example it will be the message let's say message and let's see here for example it will be bookmarks okay i'd save this go to our here now as you can see we have our buttons here so we need of course some margin between our buttons so let's add that let's go here to this uh, div that's contain our all buttons and we're gonna say that we need some space y let's say space space y let's say for example we need 2.5 let's save this okay go to our browser now as you can see we have some space between our buttons of course we need some margin top let's add margin top here let's say I got margin top say three for example save and let's go here okay well, we have some margin top here now what's also we need we need some let's say when we go here as you can see when we hover over this you're gonna see that we have some custom hover okay and first let's add some the width and the height for our uh, buttons so let's see here what is our buttons okay now in this here let's say for example let's say text it will be xl and let's say the width it will be 14 by will be 14 save okay now as you can see for our first button and of course it will be flex so let's add a flex here to be in one line say flex okay as you can see here of course we need some space x so let's add some space x to our button let's say space dash x let's say for example we need the three okay what's also we need of course we need uh, some let's say justify and item center let's add this here let's say justify it will be center and items center okay now it's look nice and what's also we need we need one we hover over this as you can see we need first we need this to be cursor let's see here let's add let's say cursor cursor dash it will be pointer pointer save see go here okay uh, what's also we need we need a hover when we hover over this we need some hover as you can see here okay let's add that let's say a hover what we gonna do when we hover we gonna let's say a background and let's say the color that we just add let's say twitter blue twitter blue save this let's go and see if that's it's, it's fine okay it doesn't it's not first it's not twitter blue it's twitter white it's white color okay white okay okay now it's i think it's it's fine as you can see here let's let's go here and add some opacity so let's say when we hover we need a background dash opacity let's say opacity of 10 for example 
let's see the save okay now it's it's look very nice what we need in here as you can see we need this to be for the whole as you can see here for the whole buttons as you can see first let's do we need this to be rounded full let's say rounded full when we hover we need this to be rounded full now as you can see let's go here remove this in here and here we're gonna say the height it will be auto and the width it will be auto this we need this to be in one the extra large screen we need the height and the width to be auto i save this go now as you can see now it's look fine but we need some px in here and py so let's add this now let's say on the extra large let's say extra large screen we need for example px to be 3 and we need py of course an extra large we need py to be say py say for example 2 or 3 and let's say px will be 4 save as you can see it's look very nice now let's add some transition to our as you can see the hover it's it's fine but let's add some animation to our this let's say transition transition and let's say duration it will be 500 millisecond and the type of animation that we're gonna use it's called is out okay let's save this and let's try how uh, let's look as you can see we have some animation here okay i think now it's it's look very nice T transition here transition okay now it's fine and we're gonna do the same for our uh, buttons so let's go here now instead of copying this and paste as you can see it's a very long class here so instead of copying this and paste we're gonna extract this as a component so we're gonna go to our style.css and of course it's inside of the component layer so let's say at layer let's say layer components of course we're gonna do the change inside of components and let's say for example this it will be let's say for example we call this component twitter buttons say twitter buttons and what we need to do we're gonna copy the whole extract the whole class let's copy this go to style here and let's say we're gonna add let's say apply apply this and paste what we just copy we're gonna make this for example in multiple line so that we can see this now let's save this now instead of duplicating those classes here we just we're gonna copy the name of that we're gonna add here it's called twitter button we're gonna call it whatever you want let's copy this go here and instead of this let's paste 
our Twitter button here. So let's do that for the rest of our buttons here and I think here. So let's, oops, let's just do here. Okay. Let's do that. Remove this and add Twitter button. Let me just create. Let's remove this space here. Okay. And also we need this here. So let's remove this and add our component, which we call Twitter button. Now let's go to our project and see if it's that's working or not notification why we, we have this notification here so let's see let's go here and now we're gonna what do we have here let's see here we need some margin left or i think we add the margin left here so let's go say text xl twitter where is the margin left i think we didn't okay now here is the margin left i think we have some a problem here okay now here let's add for example let's say on the extra large screen we need a justify i think we did justify center here okay now here justify center so let's add on the last screen as you can see if we go here we need this to be in one single line here instead of center it will be justify uh, start here so let's add that let's go here in the extra large screen of course we need this to be justify instead of center it will be start start okay now let's save this go to our projects now as you can see it's look very nice now let's change the icons that we have here so let's go to our index.html now explore i think we have uh, an icon here so we don't need to use this uh, a house we're gonna use something called if a i think it's called a hashtag a hashtag save oops let's go here okay it's look nice notification of course we're gonna change this notification i think it's called bell the message i think it's called message message and here the bookmarks it's, it's bookmarks let's say book bookmarks let's add here for example another button and let's say it's called profile and here i think it's called user let's add another button copy paste let's see here more to see more and i think this it's called in angel dash right i think let's save this to see if that's it's work fine oops what do we have here okay i think it's working fine here okay now that's it for this video and see you in the next video to finish our sidebar here all right everybody welcome to this new video now this video let's try to finish our sidebar here so let's do the same for our logo here we're gonna just copy the component that we just created for the buttons and we're gonna apply it for our logo i see here save now if we go here to our logo 
as you can see the hover here let's take the host base because in our button component here if we go to style as you can see where is the hover now in the extra large screen the hover it will be auto and the weight it will be auto so we don't need this so let's overwrite this value now how let's add here let's say for example the weight will be 14 and the high it will be the height will be 40. let's save the go to our project now as you can see it's take just 14 and doesn't take this value that we have here why because in time css when we as you can see we put here our buttons and we overwrite the values here so it will take the width and the height here it's not the width and the height that we have in our uh, component twitter buttons okay now i think that's it for our logo and what's also we need let's add here let's add a button so inside of our buttons let's add a button let's say button and let's say for example tweet and let's give some classes to our button first let's save this and see our buttons here okay as you can see our buttons is here so let's add some classes to our buttons let's say we need some margin first let's say a class we need some margin top let's say 20 we need some margin left of course the same that we use in our buttons which is margin left 20 and let's say a background let's say bg and we're gonna use the color that we create let's say twitter blue and of course it will be a rounded dash full save this yeah okay we need some the width and the height let's define the width and the height let's say for example the width it will be 56 and the height it will be 12 let's see this and it's not okay i think it's it's fine of course we need some hover when we hover over our button we need some hover let's say here when we hover we need the background to change from our color to let's say for example the blue 500 uh, just an example let's see i think it's, it's fine and what's also we need we need i think we need here some uh, some space 20 it's not it's not enough let's go here or it's not working it's not enough it's not working because we forgot to add okay it's not enough. let's say let's see two for example why this margin it's not working do you have any idea why this margin top is not working because i think we make the button here so let's make the button here okay now let's see just 20 save okay i think it's it's fine okay now i think we uh, just create our sidebar so now let's go to if we go to the mobile or the medium screen now as you can see here in the medium screen it doesn't look fine so let's add some some classes to our sidebar here so what do we need in let's go here to twitter and see how it's look in the medium and let's say in the medium start from the medium 
as you can see here we just show the icons so the text it will be hidden so let's do that where is the text so here in this pan that we have here let's do multi-select multi-select here and also here so let's say class it will be hidden but start from the extra large i think it will be in line let's say in in line okay let's save this go to our website here now as you can see it's look like this but i think we need to add this to our button here or, or more here so this button we need to be hidden so let's add hidden here where is it okay here it will be hidden okay and start from the extra large screen we need to show our button so in the extra large it will be in line in line okay save this let's see okay now it's, it's hidden let's add hidden to our more where is more is here let's say class and it will be hidden an extra large screen it will be airline save go here now i think it's look it's look nice but we need this to be hidden in the mobile now if we go here and we go to the mobile screen i think it's in the mobile screen it show like this but i think we need to in our case here we need this to be hidden in the mobile screen what do you think or we just left our sidebar like like this what do you think okay now in the large screen we show this like like this okay all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video let's try to create this section it's called the main section now what do we have in this main section as you can see we have uh, left border and right border here so let's do that let's go here inside the main section let's add a div a div okay and let's give some classes to this div now first it will be flex this div it will be flex grow grow like this and if you don't know what is flex grow you're gonna go to documentation you're gonna see that this is flex grow now let's take the available space in here so as you can see we have the same layout as we in this example now we have three parts as you can see the first it will be for example here in our case it's this left side bar and this part here is this right side bar here. so this it will be flex grow so it will take the whole space between two divs here okay and let's go here flex grow let's add a border we need the border left and the border right okay and the color of the border should be for example gray 700 let's save this okay now we see this here the border left but we don't see the border right because this div here we didn't give any weight in for this div so let's do that to see our border right so in this right section let's add for example a div and inside this div let's say the class let's give the width for uh, this div for example 96 so 96 save now as you can see we can see our border right okay now we need some margin left here so let's do that go here where is this okay let's say 
margin left 20 for example save okay think 20 is fine and what we gonna have inside this div or inside this main section let's add an h1 for example let's call it the home and let's here add another div and this div for example well first let's see this home how it's look save as you can see let's give some classes to this home or this h1 let's say class say for example the text will be large font bold for example bold and i think that's it save okay let's change the color of the text let's say text twitter or custom color save okay it's fine and what also we need let's add some padding let's say p2 save okay now it's fine let's add a border bottom here so how we can do that let's say border bottom and the color it will be border gray 700 for example save okay as you can see our border now what we're gonna add here let's add a profile image here and a text area here so let's do that you can see here show the color and we're gonna add here a profile image text area like what we have in twitter and let's say for example a button here and some icons here okay this is the beautiful layout that we're gonna build in this main section so let's do that let's first add another div this div it will contain let's see here another div and this div it will contain our image or our profile image and let's say first we're gonna add this image let's say image the search it will be in our inside of our image folder and the profile dot png let's add this okay now let's say dot slash img slash profile profile dot png save okay now we have our image as you can see here so let's add some classes to this image let's say class of course we need uh, the high a uh, high and the weight so let's say height will be 11 and the weight for example it will be 11 of course and let's say rounded full rounded full and we need the cursor to be cursor dash pointer okay i think that's it for this image see how it looks okay it's fine and what's also we need we need another div it will contain the text area here so let's do that let's add and is this div and let's add another div it will be inside this div of course let's say div and this div it will contain our text text area okay and this text area of course we have a placeholder placeholder for example let's say what is or what's happening say what's happening happening okay 
question mark and of course the number of rows let's say rows two and let's give some classes to our text area first let's save this let's see how it's look okay as you can see our text area here so we need to give the flex to the class that contain this text area and our profile image so which we have this in one line so let's give this now what is it? now this is the div that's contained so this is the div that's contained our image and this text area so here let's say it will be flex flex okay save okay now as you can see let's add some space of course we need some space space why it's not why it's in our case it will be space x save okay of course we need a border let's add a border to this div here let's say a border bottom and let's say a border it will be gray 700 let's see this how it looks okay it's fine and what's also we need i think we need some space here from the the top and the bottom so let's do that where is this div let's say space this time it will be way space y4 for example okay here let's add here not space let's say for example margin top and let's say for example i need this to be four okay let's add margin bottom two okay now we need the width for our text area now text area we need this to take the whole space so let's say what is the text area classes okay now the weight it will be full of course and the background we don't need this background we need the background to be transparent transparent okay save I think now it's fine we don't need this as you can see here when we hover over this or when we focus over this we see this outline so let's add let's see here out outline none of course save okay we don't have any outline now and of course the text let's change the text text it will be twitter white when we write something see okay and what's also we need let's add some margin left in here so let's see where is this div in here okay thank you let's see margin left margin left of three save okay all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video is time to add some icons here and a button here so let's do that let's go here so the end of this div is here so let's add another div here and this div it will contain a div for uh, our icons let's see here div and another div or a button let's say first here so let's add some icons let's say icon let's say class and let's add some font awesome icons now first for example we have a and let's say that we gonna use if a dash image let's copy this three times let's say three times 
or four. If a image, let's say here for example, it will be if a let's say face dash smile and the third it will be for example clipboard dash list and this the end icon it will be say for example box box archive okay let's save this and see our icons so as you can see we have our icons in here so we need this to be let's change the color first see, let's do multi select let's say the text it will be twitter blue save okay as you can see we have our icons so of course we need this to be flex so let's add that in here this div is the container for the whole icons so let's say class and it will be flex and of course it will be items dash center so let's save okay as you can see of course we need some <coughs> some space between our icons so let's add that here let's say space space x for for example okay so let's add some margin left let's say here margin margin left three for example okay that's fine let's add our button so let's say here <coughs> button and it will be tweet so let's say first to see our button okay now we have our button here so we need this to give some classes to our button let's say the background it will be our color custom color that we create the text it will be twitter white for example and let's say px of four let's say py of one for example and let's say the font we need the font to be bold and of course we need the hover when we hover over our button we need to change the background to blue 500 and what's also we need we need this to be around that full of course save okay as you can see our button here so we need our button to be here so how we can do that let's go to div that's contain what is the div that's contain our the button and those icons so now okay now this button this button it will be here same okay okay now this div now we have two divs now this div and our button so let's add here a class to this div of course it will be flex save okay now we need some space between those icons and our button <coughs> so we're gonna use justify between let's do that to this let's say justify dash between save okay now we have our button here it's fine so now let's add some classes to our uh, icons here so we need some when we hover over this we need some some uh, style so let's do this so let's add some classes to this and uh, this data does contain our icons let's say for example the weight it will be nine in the high it will be nine let's say for example background red 900 let's say red 900 save this and go here you're gonna see our icon 
here so we need this to be centered so let's use the flex to center our icon let's say flex and justify center and items center save okay now as you can see here our icon is centered so we need this to be a rounded full let's say a rounded full okay and what's also we need we need when we hover over this change the color let's say when we hover let's say hover let's say we need this to be background below 500 for example when we hover you're gonna see like this but let's change the colors that we use here so let's see here we need where is the background okay we don't need background red let's see here we need the background to be let's say twitter which we the color that we create let's say twitter blue save doesn't look nice let's say for example say gray 600 to let's see here for example to gray 900 let's see how it looks save mm, i don't know i think it will be the opposite okay where is the hover the background it will be okay now the hover it will be 600 and here it will be 900 save okay i think now it's fine so let's copy this and paste it for other icons so here let's see class copy and paste here and here so let's paste this i think we did a problem here okay now we have here so let's have some space and paste save okay let's minimize the space x so where is space x let's make two save okay now i think it's look it's look fine and we need this to be the width of our div here to be full so let's add that i think we made a mistake here so this div where is the div that's contain text area so let's say class and the width it will be full save okay now that's that's fine i think that's it for this video see you in the next video Alright everybody welcome to this new video. Now in this video let's try to create this uh, to finish this right sidebar. But before we do that let's do some changes here. We need to fix some problem. As you can see here we need a padding for our div in here. So let's add a padding. So let's go here to let's see this okay what is the main section okay well, this is the main section now this div here we need to add a padding let's say for example two okay now two is fine let's add a cursor button to our icons here so let's do that where is the icons okay let's see here Let's say cursor pointer and let's copy this and paste it here for all our divs. Paste, save, that's fine. Okay, now let's try to go to here if you see in the medium screen. 
I'm gonna see that we have a lot of space here. So let's fix that. Let's go to to the main section. And here, this margin left, it's too much. Let's say, for example, say six. Okay. Still have a lot of space. So let's say, for example, four. Okay, pink 4 is fine. And in the large screen, it's fine. I think that's what you need for this main section. Now let's go here to start. Let's first let's see here. I think this piece here it's a little bit bigger. So let's add a max weight for our div or for our main section. So if you go here, you will see that we have a lot of. If you search here in documentation about the max width, you're gonna find that we have a lot of. A lot of classes. So let's do, for example, here we need this. Let's do max width to XL. So let's copy this. To my XL is forty-two. Rems. So let's do this to xl in our main section here so let's paste the max weight to xl i'd save this and you're gonna see okay now it's fine so we have a lot of space here for our right sidebar all right everybody welcome to this new video now this video let's talk about the creation of our right sidebar here now, so let's add a search box here in the top of our right sidebar you can see now inside of this right sidebar let's add a command let's say search and inside of this search let's add a div and another div and this div it will contain an icon a font awesome icon and a simple input let's say input okay let's say text for example here name let's say for example search placeholder let's say search or let's say twitter search twitter search i'd save this as you can see our search input let's give some okay now let's add our font awesome icon so let's say if a is solid and if a i think we have a font awesome uh, icon called magnifying dash glass okay let's save this okay now we have our icon here let's add some class let's say for example text color let's say gray gray 500 example okay now it's fine so let's add some classes to this div that contain our input and our icon so let's say for example here let's say class let's say for example we need this to be flex of course flex because we need our icon and input in one single line here so it will be flex okay and item center of course so that we have that we centered our input and icon in the y-axis so let's see it's save okay as you can see it's fine so what's also we need i think we need a padding let's say a padding of three okay and let's add a background let's say background gray for example say 900 out there 900 okay as you can see our background and let's say for example of course we need this to be rounded full okay i think it's it's fine now let's remove this background for our input tag so let's go to the input here and of course we need to add some classes 
let's say background it will be transparent save okay let's remove this outline when we focus let's say outline none save okay i think let's change the color of the text let's say here text will be twitter white okay let's, okay let's add some margin as you can see here this input needs some margin left so let's add let's say margin left of two for example okay now it's fine what's also need for our input let's add some margin top so let's go to the div that contain this div the part of this div let's say class example need a margin top of two for example okay i think it's fine now let's see how it looks in other screen now this is the medium screen of course we need this to be hidden on the mobile so let's add this here we need this to be hidden on the mobile and we're gonna start showing this on the large screen so start from the large screen it will be in line save this go to our okay now as you can see it's hidden now and start from the large screen it's show okay that's fine what's also we need i think here we need some let's say let's add an mx auto okay i think we need to minimize the size of our search input now in the let's see here in the large screen as you can see it's too big so let's go here and let's see in the large screen or extra large it's not large and start on the extra large screen we need the weight to be let's say 11 slash 12 let's see how it's done okay it's fine on the extra large screen let's see on the large screen it's a little bit bigger so let's add here let's say the width it will be let's say for example let's add an arbitrary value let's say 315 or 50 pixel on the okay i think it's fine now this is on the large screen on the extra large screen it will take if we go to the extra large screen it will take this width here which is 11 slash 12 and if you go here you're gonna see 11 slash 12 let's see search here on the width let's go here width and you're gonna find all those values let's go here let's search for here okay as you can see this is 11 slash 12 now make sure that this 11 slash 12 it's it's not from the whole page here as you can see this is just from this uh, parent div here which is our right sidebar now the width of our right sidebar is 96 so it will take where is this this from our 96 it's not from the whole page okay i think that's it for our input or our search box see you in the next video all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video let's try to add another section to our right sidebar here let's add let's create this part for example or this section so what do we have in this section it's like what we did in this section so let's go to our sublime text let's add another command let's say for example following let's call it following 
for one section and let's create a div that will be a container for this section so let's say a div like what we did in, with this trending section and inside of this div let's say for example an h5 let's say for example you may it like and let's create a div and inside this div we're gonna start with this time we're gonna start with image let's say Spain and this pain will contain an image and another div here so this div will contain you go here you're gonna see that we need a text a title let's add that let's say here inside this image uh, inside this div let's say we need an h4 and we need an h h5 let's say h5 and of course at this div we're gonna add a button which is this button here for low button like this okay now let's go here let's say for example here let's add some text let's say react gs let's see here add react gs let's add an image here what is the image that we're gonna add let's add this react image so dot slash mg slash react 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 dot png dot png okay and of course we're gonna add some classes to this image like what we did in the last section so let's say hi it will be 14 14 okay 14 and wait it will be also 14 and let's say it will be rounded full of course let's save this and see the result okay as you can see our image is here let's add some classes to our title so this title here which five title let's say class of course it will be font bold and the text will be extra large and let's say a px of 4 like what we did in the last section here let's save this okay let's change the text or well, let's do that in this div here let's say this div does contain the whole section let's say text it will be of course twitter y let's say a background it will be gray 800 like what we did here and let's say around it let's say extra large extra large save and let's see how it looks okay it's fine let's add let's copy what we did here of course the width will be 350 pixel in the large screen and extra large screen it will take this so let's copy this Oops, paste it here inside of our class. And of course, we need MX Auto so that we have some space on the right and left. Let's save this. You see how it looks. Okay, now oh, it's fine. What we're gonna do? Let's add some classes to our button here. So let's say here follow. And let's add some classes to our beautiful button. Now let's say a background of course it will be white and the text it will be black and the font it will be bold and let's say px of 3 for example and the py of 1.5 for example say 0.5 let's save and see how it's our button looks okay we need also a rounded full to our button 
so let's add here let's say rounded full okay save this okay i think it's look like what we have here i think so let's and uh, let's change it is text let's say text small text small save okay now let's add some classes in here to our div so we need our button to be here so let's do that let's go and add some classes to this div actually this div it will it's like the div this div it's like this div let's copy what we did with this div and let's paste it here let's see paste but with some changes we don't need justify between here because we have this image and this div and the button so we don't need to use justify between let's say here once we have margin bottom we don't need margin bottom and we don't need margin top so let's save and see how this looks okay you can see when we hover over this this change so let's add some some classes to so this div now here in this pane contain image and this div here let's say add some classes to this div say a margin left of three we need a margin left i think that's what we need for this div let's contain 2h4 and h5 let's add some classes to this h4 let's say class let's say font bold for example and let's say when we hover we need an underline let's say when we hover we need an underline let's see how it looks okay it's fine I think it's, it's fine what's also we need we need this if we go here this react GS let's say class will be text gray 500 and let's say text small let's see see how it looks i think it's it's fine okay now let's add some uh, padding to our div because we need the padding as you can see here when we hover over our div you're gonna see that we need some space so let's add the padding so let's go here where is this div that's contained on uh, this section let's say we need a padding of two for example let's say two okay oh, it's fine so we need this button of course to be here so let's add a margin left let's say here and this button let's say margin left it will be auto so oh, it's it's fine so let's duplicate this three times for example or two times so we're gonna duplicate this div let's say here paste and paste it on the time so it's it's fine as you can see it looks fine let's change the images so let's go here let's say for example so react let's see here i wind css okay instead of react will be tailwind tailwind not png let's see how it looks we don't have a tailwind where is this tailwind okay tailwind like this okay let's change this image here let's say for example node.js and of course here Node.js, and I think we have 
an image called node node js let's see what's called it node logo so let's say it's called node dash logo save okay and i think we need some space we hover all this we need let's say in here let's add some space so let's go to the parent div for this section let's say here for example space y 2 and i think it's it's fine like this i think it's fine okay that's it for this video see you in the next video all right everybody welcome to this new video now in this video let's try to create another section in the right sidebar here now we have this search and let's add another section here let's call it for example the trending section so let's go to our sublime and let's add here after this search let's add another comment let's say for example the trending trending section okay now what we gonna have in this trending section let's create a div that will be the container for this section and let's create here for example an h4 let's say for example here it will be what's what's happening happening okay another p here okay and after this let's create a div and inside this div so we're gonna have we're gonna have another div let's create another div here and a span here let's see the span here now this span will contain an image so let's say in image okay and we're gonna do this later or oh, let's just add an image here if you go to our folder here we're gonna see that we have a tailwind.png so let's add that here let's say dot slash mg it's the name of our folder and our image it's called tailwind.png now let's save this okay now our image is here so let's give some classes to this image first let's say the weight it will be 14 and the height height it will be 14 of course save and let's do like this to see this image okay let's add for example here let's say rounded it's not full let's say large save okay now the image is fine so let's go here now we have this h4 now inside this div what we gonna have so let's add for example a p tag and let's oops let's add for example here h5 and let's add for example another p tag and let's add two Spain. Okay. Now for the first p tag, let's say for example, this is it will be web development development. Okay. Let's say for example for this H five. Let's say Tailwind. Tailwind CSS, the modern framework framework modern css framework just some dummy text it's not a big problem let's see here trending trending wait and let's see here for example tailwind and with css of course need a it's a hashtag and let's add another hashtag let's say react c 
Et React.js. React.js. I save this to see how it looks here. Okay, as you can see, our text is here. So let's start by adding some classes to this div that's contained the whole uh, the whole section or the whole part. Let's say a class. Let's say the text it will be Twitter white. Say okay as you can see we change the color of our text let's say a background for example a gray it hinders save okay as you can see our background here let's add a uh, padding let's say padding x say 4 for example save okay as you can see we have a padding what's also we need we need this uh, corners to be rounded let's say rounded say large for example or let's add extra large say extra large okay it's fine and let's copy in here we're gonna use what we use with this uh, search box let's say the width in the large screen it will be 315 pixel and in the extra large screen it will take this width so let's do that for our our div save okay and of course we need an mx auto to center this so let's say mx auto save okay now it's fine let's add some space here between our search box and this trending section so let's go to the div that's contained the right sidebar section and let's say here for example space y because we need in the y axis here let's say 2 for example okay i think 2 it's fine or let's say 3 maybe add some space okay 3 it's fine and let's where is our div okay i think we finished with this div so let's add some classes to our h4 let's contain this title let's say for example we need this to be a font bold of course and let's say text it will be extra large extra large extra large and let's say px of 4 let's save okay i think it's fine and let's add some classes to this div here that's contain the image and our text let's say when we hover over our on uh, this section our div column we need the background change the background let's say background to be background dash white for example so when we hover over this you're gonna see our background uh, the color of our section change so let's say add some opacity to this background let's say hover and let's say opacity background dash opacity 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 it will be five save as you can see like this when we add an opacity to our background now if you go here to the tailwind you're gonna see that we have tailwind pack slash opacity the values or classes that you can use and each class it has a property here for example where is the five five it's this value or this property okay i think it's it's fine so let's add some p uh p let's add some padding Let's say, for example, the px it will be 4, save. Okay, you can see when we hover over this. Let's add some large corner here. So, when we hover, we need the rounded. Oops, rounded. Let's say large, save. Okay, as you can see. And let's see, we need the cursor to be 
point there okay so when we hover you see our cursor change okay i think that's it for this uh, section here and so this div contain our first div and this pane does contain our image so let's say this it will be flex of course save so that we have our image and and text in one line let's say item item center so that we center this in the y-axis save okay and let's say justify between now we need some space between our text and our image of course we don't see anything because this text we need to change the font size of our text so let's start by this p tag which contain this uh, web development let's say class let's say for example the text it will be extra small Not, let's say extra small save okay and let's say the text it will be the color it will be text twitter white and let's say the font it will be font it will be medium medium okay right save this i think now it's fine and what's also we need let's add some classes to our p tag as contained this time in css and let's say class the font it will be bold and the text it will be extra small save okay i think it's fine and let's add some classes to this p tag let's contain this trending say class of course it will be text small or extra small and let's say font it will be medium and the text color it will be twitter white save okay i think it's fine let's add here to this div that's contain let's add some space y we need the space some space in the y axis so let's say space y2 let's say to how it looks i think it's fine so it's fine and let's add some classes to this pane let's contain our hashtag so let's do let's say left let's say class let's say text it will be twitter say blue say twitter blue save and we need the text to be extra small of course save okay let's add when we hover let's when we hover we need this add an underline under underline okay okay now i think it's it's fine okay now i think it's it's fine what's also we need at this point i think it's fine so let's copy this where is this div we're gonna copy this div and paste it two times for example let's say here save okay as you can see you have two divs here so let's change this image let's change the image here let's show the sidebar we have another image called react so let's say react dot png this image okay i think it's fine now it's not beautiful we need some padding top between this uh, and this uh, some space between our title and our div so let's add that let's say where is our div okay now this div let's add some margin top say margin top of say four and let's add some space y so that we have some space between this div and this div so 
we erase this div that's contained okay let's add here let's say space space y of two okay i think now it's it's fine let's add a padding to our div so let's say padding where is the div now uh, this div let's say p2 okay let's add an, a p2 to this also so where is uh, this is this div let's see here justify between and let's say p2 save okay now it looks very beautiful okay i think we need some margin bottom for this let's add a margin bottom what is this let's say margin bottom let's say two for example so that we have some space here in the bottom i think we don't hit save we don't it's not here it's it will be for the div okay here it will be here sorry save okay now it looks fine i think and that's it for this section see you in the next section